In an alternate universe in fantasy Minecraft, I will be spending 100 days role-playing as a fire mage. The world of magic mods is something I've really never dove myself into and I truly wanted to test my limits. The challenge of becoming the most powerful mage in existence. Join me as we adventure through a glorious world filled with adventure and the most utter chaos. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video, obviously. So this is my 100 days journey as a fire mage. All right, here we go. Choose your origin. Well, regions unexplored. So we can be a human, an elf, a half elf, half orc, thief link. My God, fantasy Minecraft changed a crap ton. Holy moly, a moon elf. All right, well, since we're gonna be a fire mage, uh, I feel like we need a, an origin that is of the type, right? So here's another thing. You're a mage who can always find the magic in things. Uh, you're immune to poison and weakness and slowness. Uh, you were never, who is it, tamed in combat. So you have, le you have three less hearts. Uh, you can shoot a fire ball in the direction of your facing you have water walk so you learn to harness the power of the heart of the sea so while you hold it you could walk on water uh, since you're only trained in magic you are very weak in any sort of combat so i feel like this is like the best thing to do because i mean right off the bat we can shoot a fireball which is with g so which is pretty cool so we're gonna select this all right, here we go. So we're in the beautiful land of fantasy Minecraft on its really new updates. Like they've had a lot of different changes to this mod pack. Like I'm telling you, a lot of freaking changes since we've last played fantasy minecraft this time we're gonna do in a different variation we're gonna play it as a massive fire mage that can shoot stuff from what i was told from kyber and the pixel dream studio team they've done something for me uh, they have a list a gigantic gigantic list of stuff to do for this 100 days first of all i have to go look at the inventory was, oh what is this is kevin treasure contains a mythical item forged with arcane craftsmanship for is kevin the eye the revered YouTuber. Hey, no way. This is so cool. What? This is trippy. Oh my god. What? Okay, hang on. So what? Did I just right click on it or something? All right, let's see. A mossy moss there. A mossy moss everywhere. What the hell did it just do? I got slow falling. It is Kane. Okay. Unleashes the leaping abilities of the one with the orange shirt and frog hat. No way. <laughs> Wait, the <laughs> Dude, okay, okay, it's an inside joke. So Kyber calls me an old man and like I'm, I'm considered a boomer in like the YouTube community. This is funny. They made an old man cane for me. It swings pretty fast. I guess it has an ability. Bruh. Oh, dude, I got jump boosts and slow falling. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, since I'm a mage, I believe our first victim will be a sporling. So while pressing G, okay. Yeah, that that deals a lot of big damage. That's a. Uh, I thought usually we spawn in like uh, like a village or something like that, but I didn't this time. There's a ruin over here. Oh, oh there. Wait, there's a water village across right there. They also changed the map. All right, let's go to this village and go loot that. See what we can find there. There's also a pirate ship, but I was also told to check something else too. So supposedly they made an entire quest line for me. I was told I have to find an east. Easter egg. Build a brig ship? What? Journeying in the water as well. There's like pirate stuff in here. This is wicked. Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Kevin, talking to you in like a past tense in terms of storyline and stuff like that. But hey, I, uh, welcome to the land of fantasy Minecraft where I was invited back to play the pack once again. But I, I thought I would make a little bit of a twist of becoming a fire mage and trying to role play as best as I could and learning the new world of magic because typically I normally play like a warrior or someone who just wears tons of massive armor like I, I am but the thing is i'm a fire mage and in order to start doing fire i gotta start wizards gotta start all this stuff and then start the magical experience as well what we're trying to make is the elite wizard set because the elite wizard set can gain us a lot of power in terms of like how good the fire wizard stuff is and then eventually the elite battle mage armor set which is like even better but but right now, we're just trying to live and try to get to the nether to get blaze rods so we can make blaze powder and blaze rods to get the fire room. But it's already becoming nighttime. We're going to go see if we can find another village because that one sucked. There's probably a little bit more stuff over there, but there was a ruin over here. So we're going to go loot that ruin. So I started off with the essentials, obviously, like punching a tree to get some wood and to make some tools and then collecting some stone, collecting some coal, and then searching around in the massive land of fantasy Minecraft and then finally sleeping it off for the night but in the morning i was presented with a beautiful gift Hi -ya! there we go what did i get i got a golden knife a coin pouch got some money 
I got a rune. I'm gonna probably need that. A base of operations was needed or like a mage tower. I needed somewhere to call home. All right. Whoa, whoa, what is happening here? Who's that? Was that a pillager? Oh, it is. It is a pillager. All right, hang on. Hey, yeah. Here. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let him. I'll let him just be. We'll loot up in their house real quick. Looting this little like pillager camp gave me some of my essential gear, like getting some books and some thundering quiver. We also have club mace. We have an epic crossbow. We really need to get a backpack going. Chest in the corner here, and some other stuff that I was needing. But I went out and scoured around in the area again to loot up some more chests and loot up some more structures. I then needed some wool to make some of my robes oh, for later yes, on. Oh yes, we have a skill tree. I forgot. I forgot that we have one. We have a skill tree. Oh, look at that. Oh, God, look at that. Plus one to all schools of magic. And we need to go mining. We need to get some stuff done. I know I've just been exploring the world. We're going to make base over there. Sounds like a good one. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, okay. Supposedly, we can make brigs in here. Yeah, you can make a ship in here. All right. What is this? There is a bonner of sort. I don't know what kind, but a mana leech. I grab that. Oh, we got spirit orbs. They have that in here. Oh, lapis. An ancient scroll. Okay. I'm gonna put the copper coins in here. I think I might take this into my base. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff in here already. It's 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 a wizardish tower. It looks like a wizard tower-ish thingy. There's an alley. Look, there's an alley here too. Look at that. So we got nether rack here. It's like an infested nether. Oop. What? No way. Oh yeah, I need you guys. Hang on, I need some leather, bro. We will have to go to the ocean. I think we gotta go to a different plateau because if we're in the cold biome here, there's like barely any structures around here, dude. The rest of days three, we're gonna try to get out of this biome because we want somewhere a little bit warmer. I'll uh, cut back to you once we're out in the ocean trying to find something cooler. There is a raft. Oh, you know what? What if, okay, what if we try to dip our toes into like 100 days on a raft? Would you guys want to watch that? 100 days on a raft? That would be sick. I've never done that. I've seen so many people do it before and like it's always kind of like the, the same aspect, but I feel like I can do like a big plot twist to like on a raft. I could do something really epic. If you guys want to see something really cool like that you haven't seen that's like on a raft, let me know. I am open for the idea of it, so I really don't don't mind trying it out. You're telling me you're traveling by boat and you don't got anything on here? You got dried kelp. So there's a big sky island up there. Oh, here we go. Regular trees. Here we go. Oh, there's a sky island. Wait, this one's a little bit lower. We can probably go raid that, actually. Okay, so it seems like we're in a better situation here. Well, well, well. For you. Oh god, I'm on fire with my own fire. Okay, I have a smart idea. Use the Kevin Kane! Far away! Woohoo! <laughs> we can escape from anything. It's a little cozy spot. Okay, the next day. I'm gonna get rid of the lunar crystal wand. I'm gonna get rid of this. A lot of people right now are gonna be thinking like, oh my god, why'd you throw that out? That's like really important. But I'm like, I don't care. I want fire wand. So this is the time of the video where we go mining and do all that fun stuff like gathering iron and some coal. And so basically I was trying to speed run my way into the nether. So making trying to get diamonds as fast as possible to mine obsidian to make a portal so I can collect blaze rods to make fire runes. So I think what I might... Oh my god, is that an owl? Dude, what's up, dude? I'm Harry Potter. I, I, I need a pet owl. What the heck? Redstone caves. Whoa, a lot of redstone. Life crystal cluster. What does a life crystal do? Oh, hello. All right, yeah. Casual blindness, that's all. Fireball! Wood. There's a zombo. Okay, dude. I don't even know why I went mining. Honestly, does the quest give you a free backpack? We just gotta go take a look. The ultimate miner. This one gives us a sail. Question mark? Okay, what? Question mark, question mark. Gives us a sail. Find an ocean. I at least have a diamond. I need to get two more diamonds and I can mine up some of the more obsidian and go right into the nether. We're trying to rush the nether, okay, guys? We're trying to get all that stuff first. The faster we find some diamonds to mine some of the... Uh, Obsidian better diamonds. Look at that mount. I needed too. Oh, why is he playing the triangle? <laughs> you know, for you guys. Yeah, the one thing that you would think that you wouldn't see in Minecraft is a freaking zombie playing the triangle. Who would have thought? Anyways, I had to dig my way all the way out of the cave so I can finally find a so-called base camp. Oh, we need a gold ingot and gunpowder. Can we make a fire wand? That's it? Okay. I could definitely make a fire wand. Well, I need a gold, so I gotta go mining again. Yeah, I need gunpowder, so I need to kill a creeper. So what we can do now is find some sort of place of living. What is all of that? Do we still have the boat on us? No? All right, we're gonna swim there. 
Yeah, it seems like it's an actual village. Yeah, okay, we're off to a good start. I think we might live there. Away from civilization, there's like a world tree here. I think we might live on this island. It's perfectly square. Now we're talking. Oh, no way, that's a prison quarter. You guys not have a waystone here? All right. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a pillager camp. Dude, what is up with this water? What is this over here? There's something even bigger over here. This looks like a giant structure. Okay, so let's go make like a base camp for now. We're gonna load everything, try to find some cows. Uh, we'll make a diamond pickaxe. We'll go mine up some of the obsidian from the portal frames, get the obsidian, light up a portal, go to the nether, kill some blazes. But I think before that, we might go into the prison quarter to loot up some of the gold and iron because it's an easy way to get it right now. It's early game. So I took one of the villager homes and made it my own. I placed a crafting table, a bunch of furnaces. I also had to make a bunch of chests so I can get some storage because like my god my inventory is just completely full so and then i dumped everything into it not the greatest pickaxe unfortunately but it will have to get the job done and then we're also going to make a diamond sword oh that's really <gasps> plus one fire spell power that is that is what we're aiming for folks we're gonna get those those things we're gonna go right into the nether get some blaze powder finally become a fire mage gotta be a different portal then dude don't tell me we have to go all the way back do we have to travel all the way back there i feel like i should it's not too bad we can do it but i gotta travel all the way over here it's about a thousand blocks all right, we're almost there. I'm about halfway. All right, it's right there. Look at that. Okay, here we go. All right, now we're gonna go all the way back home. Hey, okay, let's go, man. All right, home sweet home, baby. Let's go on you. There you go. Oops, I think I made that way too tall. <laughs> it's okay. There you go. Let's go. Who cares? Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh, looks like we already got something here. What is that? Does it have blazes? Yeah, it's this way. There's a house here. Oh, God. That is a, that is a brute. That is a lot. Holy smokes. Fire coming clutch. Oh, my God. Wow. Dude, I can get free netherite from this place. Oh, it's these towers. Yeah, it's these, this place. What's that one, then? All right, here we go. A little falling. What is this place? Is a bed probably linked to something? It's a dropper. Is that a stairs that go down? I don't know if I like this place. What the hell is going on in here? Oh, oh, another eye. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm gonna play hopscotch. Okay. I am so confused about this place. Was I at the top of the thing, or is there something more interesting at the bottom of it? All right, there's just bones in there. Netherite Jade Ring. Equipable in the ring, it gives me projectile damage, which is probably something I really need. We got another spirit orb. Oh, arcanes. Oh, that's what we need. We need an arcane thingy. All right, so a ring slot. Okay, so it goes there. Oop, that's a castle. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay, how do I get rid of him? And we're gonna go flying. Let's go find another different blaze. Holy shit, okay, okay, okay. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Oh, you gotta kill that guy. I mean, he's almost dead. Raiding this fortress wasn't so easy for myself because I'm normally not doing this this early in game, especially in modded Minecraft. Wasn't expecting a small tier boss of a wither that was there. But anyways, I had to farm a bunch of blaze for blaze rods. He's behind me, he's behind me. Oh, I got him. But now I can turn this into blaze powder. There's a lot of these blazes. Let's go inside the castle. All right, I gotta get out. I gotta get out of here. There's diamonds in here. Oh, 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 yes. I will definitely take that. Eight projectile damage, another right necklace, rib armor. I mean, look, it's a good start. But I need food, man. We'll come back and loot that place. So at least we have a, a place where we can farm blazes. I just need uh, fire resistance. At least we can make like some basic starter stuff now. And let's make our fire set. So we got a fire hat, fire chest plate, fire pants. But we are missing one blaze powder and one wool for the pants. Where's all the nuggets? I'm going to turn this into ingots. So with how I know that this works, you have to make this. You do that. Make an anvil. And in the anvil, you can change rarity. So like say like, this guy's got one max hp so you go to here and then you put it this in here then you put i think it's wool you can change the rarity of it yeah just wool any kind of wool you can change the rarity you can make it into an epic or a legendary and it should be able to give you all like the the max stats that you want which is pretty great but now for us to actually get the fire staff we actually need uh, i think we're going for a wand right 
Ugh. God damn. All right. So I think I want to make a Fletcher. This is get fletching table. And we have an unemployed villager right here, which you are going to be employed now. Two arrows. No, we don't want this. We want the other one. Take the job. Emeralds for arrows. All right. That's pretty good. Or we went to the sky island. We possibly do that too. We're going to see. We'll see how many blocks we can climb up. So I went into this little pillager camp that was close by in the ocean and grabbed its emeralds so I can trade my newfound Fletcher for arrows i was needing arrows to actually farm more of these blaze rods because man oh man these blazes are crazy and i keep dying super quickly anyways i had to go into the mainlands over here and then start snipping at the sheep to get some wool the wool was made for the fire robes in which i was really interested in making because it could give me some more fire spell damage i also tamed this little guy one of my old buddies in the other previous playthrough through fantasy minecraft has tamed this guy before i knew i wanted him and so i tamed him Wait, can you fly him right away? I don't know. He's mine now. Okay, let's go. Let's go farm. So it's all the way at the back, if I remember, right? Whee! And so my return to the nether begins. And man, oh man, did I ever just start getting annoyed at going to the nether. Trust me, I go back here so many freaking times throughout this playthrough. It, it, it stops at around, I think, day 30 or something like that. <laughs> or maybe day 40. I'm not entirely sure. But you'll see, I do something else later down the road to find an easier way to get fire runes because, well... Look at this. I keep dying to blazes all the freaking time. But, you know, I needed blaze I needed blaze rods to get more fire runes and to finish my entire set of the fire ropes. It was very, very essential for me. Day 10. Here we go. Uh, we should be able to make the rest of the armor. And we got... We need the boots. Boom. Oh, wait. Do we need an amethyst shard? Oh, we do need an amethyst shard. Ew, did your nose just wiggle? Stop kissing! What is what is going on? This actually makes some fire runes. So to make some fire runes, you need cobblestone with this. And then you get a couple of these guys. We're going to leave two in there. So at least we have 28 of that kind. But this time, so let's go down into the caves. What is that? Ooh, magnese. I'll take that. Yes. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We need just one piece. Yes, that's it. Oh, shit. I forgot. I don't have armor on. All right, I should, like, land right in it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh there's spawners in here. Holy, holy shit! There's so many! Oh, I see the spawner now. I gotta figure out where this other spawner is. Now we're talking. Shit. Wait, why am I on fire? No! Why? Yeah, it is nighttime. We can get out and then go. And then go. I learned a very valuable lesson here. Do not enter a zombie dungeon cave with very low armor stats because you will get one tapped or two tapped by zombies. Get a piece of gold ingots. Then take that. And then you do that. And then you get a fire wand. And then now I remove all this and then go bang, 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 and bang. And now I am officially a fire... <laughs> Oh my god. Ah! Why? Why did you let them in? You dumb, dumb, dumb poo, -poo head. I want to try out my magic. Deadly mobs. Oh, it's ah! Boom. Go. Fire. There we go. Now we're talking. Ow. All right, I got to defend our village. Profound magic. Like this. Whoa! Villager, don't come inside. Don't come inside. I swear to God, if you open that, up, that goddamn door, you're going to let him in. What the hell? God damn. Holy cannoli. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go look at the quest menu for a magical experience. So it looks like we need a rune crafting table and probably start looking into this. The obtain the tome of the fire. Because it looks like, I'm not sure what this is. It's equipable spell book, trinket slot spells, use spell binding table to add spells. We need to get a tome of the fire, which I, I have no idea how to do. Oh, you have to find this. I have no idea where to find it, but we will have to find it. So we're going to have to go explore a little bit. But also, uh, we need to go get amethyst shards to change the rarity of this armor set and uh, probably start enchanting it and stuff like that. How much leather is that? Six? Damn. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to say this for sure to you guys. A one-on-one -on -one conversation with all of you. Um... <laughs> I want to just thank you guys a lot, honestly. The, the the channel has been doing really well, and I've been having a great time filming these videos. You know, I've been doing YouTube for a very, very, very long time, and it feels really good to finally do... Oh, a cow! 
Yes, eight wool. You guys gave me the luck of getting more leather. Let's go. Anyways, so yeah, it, it, it's been feeling really good that I've been getting some sort of like recognition and I've been putting a lot of work into these videos. These videos take a long time to do. You know, it's about like 26 hours to 30 hours of footage and then about like 50 hours of editing. You know, I also work like a part-time job. You know, I, I work at night. Um... You know, I I'm just very lucky and very thankful for a lot of you guys sticking around and even some of the old people from whenever I started my channel in like 2015 making Dungeon Defender videos. Uh, I just want to say thanks. Thank you so much for sticking around and supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me. All right. Blacksmith with no door. Iron and apples. Actually, I will take... We're going to go. We're going to go to the ship. Do we want to go raid the ship? But you know what? We might go to this. I need a backpack. Get a backpack done. Boom, like this. And then you go like this, 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 this. And then, then boom. And then, look, I just grabbed a bunch of iron. The exact amount of iron that I needed. And then, boom. And then, bing. Uh, and, then, and then I can put that on. Now I have a backpack. Why does this place look like beta Minecraft? Did a lot of you guys play, like, the beta versions of Minecraft? Like, I grew up playing them and the alpha version. Like, I started playing Minecraft early 2010 and 2011. You know, I was, like, sitting there watching the Ox cast, their playthrough series of Minecraft. Oh, my God. Is that a pyramid? On What is, like, what is with all these islands? Oh, it's a pillager pyramid. What? Where's the other guy? Oh, I got a task completed. Oh, Dude, this freaking crossbow just one taps them. What the hell? All right. All right, what do we got in here? A bunch of wool. Don't mind if I do. You know what? I could probably just save this and come back to it whenever I want to, just to know that there is wool here. I have a barrel here. I will take this. Oh, a totem of regeneration? Let's go, dude. Okay, another rune and then a holy wand. I will take that. Magic. We'll put those away. Oh, an arcane spell blade. Do we want this though? Gong of weakening. The aging gong marked with the symbols of a nameless kingdom. Feels safe around in your hands, but emits a menacing hum to those nearby. Ooh, gong. <laughs> You know what? We're going to grab this iron spear in case my other one. I'm going to cheat a bit here, okay? Just a little bit. Oh! This is what we need. Fire orb. See, this is why you come out here, folks. Skulk's my two sweeping edge, two stagger, and freeze aspect. We're always going to disenchant this, but we have ourselves a fire orb, which is something in terms of magic. And there's some allies in which we're going to free. Come on out, guys. You guys can get out of here, okay? So we're just going to continue going out this way. Like, what the heck is this? I have no idea. Balloon. A hat trinket. Oh, it gives you slow falling. Oh, that's neat. Okay. I mean, I don't think I need the balloon because I have my uh, my old man cane. What? Oh, they're all in like one chunk. They're having like a rave over here. Okay, we're going to turn over here. All right. So what do we got in here? Is it booby trapped? Let's show it real quick. There we go. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, so there's got to be treasure in here. Oh, God, it's silverfish. Ow. Okay, I'm getting out of here. There's silverfish in here. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. We're, we keep going north. We're going to go south. South is warm, right, chat? I mean, guys, I mean, what? I mean, tavern? I mean, fart gods. Whoa! Now that looks like home holy cannoli this place looks wicked there's even a docking station here a sinking temple dude my game is like dude guys i i just want to i want to remind you i'm running my game on a computer that i recently purchased that has it has a 4080 in this thing i'm getting lag i think it's just because of all the mobs that are <gasps> is that land ho that's land ho shrub land oh this is drowned Okay. I hear some villagers. Oh, oh yeah! Feast my wrath of magic. Where's all the loot at, man? Does he burn? Come on. Oh, did I kill him? Gotta set him on fire. Oh, another fire orb. Yeah, we're gonna grab that in case our other one breaks, right? A marine diamond? What? That's cool. Another paraglider, golden apple. I'm gonna put the rotten flesh in here. You know, I'm gonna put these meats in here too. Another men. There's a ring. A saddle. Yes. Okay, we're gonna use this. Definitely. An iron quarter staff. Four attack damage, 1.7 attack speed, 3.5. Okay, we're gonna see what these quarter staffs do. Reabsorption. Another necklace. And we also have a frost orb with lightning bound, whatever the hell that is. Dungeon leggings. Okay. Ow. Evil chicken. Oh my god, I'm withered. I'm gonna die. We're gonna go to Land Ho over here. So it's Shrub Land. 
Oh my god, this is zombie coming to sleep faster. Let's see what we got here. Oh, emeralds. Here we go. Thunder strike. Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Unemployed. No, you. Yes. Oh, well, you only trade that kind, but that's fine. You also have frost runes and amethyst clusters, which I think I can turn into amethyst shards. You also have an amethyst shard block, which is perfect, but I'm going to take everything that you own here, if you don't mind. And you have a rune crafting altar. I'm going to take this, if you don't mind. All right, what's in the chest? We got a wizard hat. We got some gold, um, a novice wand. So this one's looking pretty good. Yes. Spell binding table. This is what we need right here for the orb. So in order to get everything that I need, so a spell binding table mixed with, I think it's the fire orb. So if I put it in there, I can assign the spells that are on there and that will use mana instead. So which is pretty good. Path of the wizard, sapphire, path of the spell blade. So we don't want to do much of the spell blade. We want path of the wizard. We want to go more over here now. So all spell damage up, 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 up. There we go. Now our spell damage is going to increase. And we have a, this guy, which has an enchanted basin. Villager plus. I will grab this off of you if you don't mind. <gasps> Wait, can you trade amethyst shards for your basin? That would be sick. Because if so, I will literally... Whoa, what is that? Oh, wait, no, that's a village. This usually has some, uh, some gold in there, some emeralds, some diamonds. This is a place of living. This is an actual kingdom. You know what? I actually might move here. There are villages in, villagers in here. We had villagers all the way on the other side. We're out of the water. Look, we have a castle. Yeah, we can claim this is our kingdom. We definitely could. There's librarians here. So look, Debbie Debbie told me to get 10 different variant of villagers with jobs. And I will be getting that. Not a problem. I have a castle he was telling me to get. Well, I don't need to build one, but I got one. So in your face. I stayed in one of these for horror Minecraft. And I feel like I don't want to stay in one again. It's really hard to debate whether I want to be here or not. Wait, is that a waystone tower? Yes! Wait, is it broken? Oh! Wait, is that call C? I got bamboozled. I thought that was a waystone area. What the heck? Woohoo! Is that a whoopee cushion? <laughs> yes! To match with our cane. You put this on the waist. Yeah, so every time you push shift, you go... There you go. <laughs> One shall say that the sir is Kevin. I mean, mage Kevin. I don't even know what the terminology is for a mage, but I am the fart god. Okay? I am the fart god. Anyways, I ended up freeing these villagers and started looting uh, and started looting around inside of the areas and then also making a golden backpack. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go in here. Mine sells guidebook. I already know how to do this. Don't worry. I've done this a bajillion times. Okay. <laughs> I have a saddle, so I feel like we can go rider rider dude. Wow. I mean, what if we crafted our own wizard tower back at that, like, where that tree is? We put it in the water. But I feel like that's not, like, wizard enough. We're living in the water. We gotta live in, like, we're, we're fire mage. We gotta build it out of, like, nether brick. Oh, here we go. Redwoods. Oh, I love the redwoods, man. Super trippy looking. You see a fire mage in the redwood forest. Now this is cool. And there's another village over here. Do we want to live around here, guys? I really need a waste zone, but the villagers are all over there. You know what? Screw it. We're living back where we were on the islands and stuff. Wait, is that a jungle? So what is it to make this uh, elite battle mage? Like this thing right here. Arcane. That's 25% spell power. We also get really good armor stats on here compared. I mean, this is just insane. Elite wizard's robe or elite battle mage. All you need is an iron chest plate, a magical ingot, and a citrine to make this. And to make a magical ingot, you need a moonlight shard and a scarlet shard with a block of iron. And for an elite battle mage, you need a netherite chest plate, an arcane rune, and a magical ingot. Which, in terms of that, it's it's not that bad. You know, it's 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 not that bad because like we want more power. So the fire robes that I have on, like, I'm sure they do pretty well. Oh, wait, wait, is that a pillar? Oh, wait, what is that? All right, let's go take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's a village? All right, there is a village here, guys, with blackstone and a redwood forest. Now that, that is cool. Oh, it has everything that we want here. This is cool. This is, this screams magic. This is like a magic kingdom. Yeah, I think we're going to live here. We might move. If I find a waystone, we're going to move here. I will I will transfer everything here. This place is wicked cool. Bookshelves, spellbinding table, fires, purple fires, a well. It looks old and run down. It's got the spellbinding table, another one over here, with books and paper in it. Oh, that's, an, that's a common one. So if you take this, you put it in there. Oh, wait, no. 
Oh, it's a book. Never mind. Not a fire. Not a fire orb. Oh yeah, we got guards in here too. I'm marking this as uh, kingdom. Um, I feel like we should get started then. The thing is, is, we have to make a waste stone. We need a piece of obsidian, and then we need an ender pearl with flint. Okay, we can probably try to make those. We can wait till nighttime and see if we can kill some endermen. Yeah, this thing's gonna be broken with elytra. What is that? Like a lighthouse tower? This is an interesting tower. Lightning bound two. It's a summon a strike on target. Probably put that on the spell blade, right? Waystone! Perfect! Oh no way! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. And they give us a freaking jukebox for it. I'm going uh going to take this waystone. I'm gonna put it at that village. Over there it looked like there was a dungeon. There's a gigantic temple over there too. There's a lot to raid here. Oh, it's also nighttime. Okay, we're gonna sleep. Alright, day 15. What is this? Diamond horse armor. Alright, I don't have any torches, so sorry if it's dark for you guys. Ow. Oh, I feel like I was just in one of these things, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to mix the both of those. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, yeah. All you have to do is shift. <laughs> Wait, is that a mine shaft right here? That's a chicken spawner? What the heck? Actually, I might grab those tomato seeds because you can make smoked tomatoes, which are really good. Going to the kingdom. Let's go. We're going to put the waste on. There's a lot of villagers here. So we're gonna put the waste zone right here. There you go. There is a boss cow inside that house. All right, yeah, I might pick this house. I have a pet crab in here. I think we're gonna live here. Oh, don't mind if I do. Windhorn. When using the windhorn, echoes throughout the forest for the overworld creatures of the night tremble with fear. A legendary iron axe. Cool. Drop all this stuff in here. I'm gonna put the smithing table in here too. Ah. Yeah. Na 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 na. All right, let's go find one Enderman. Yeah. Whoa! What is that guy? Whoa! 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 Holy cow, what is... Dude, he's a big-ass orc. All right, I guess I'm going to go for a 1v1 here. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to go with this. Nice. What did I grab? Orc skin. Cool. He was cool looking. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go. Did it give me one? No! We got to keep looking. Oh, there's another one. Wait, is that it? What the frick is this? Jump! I don't know what's happening! I don't know what is happening! He's so freaking fast! Get to the water! Is it still chasing? Oh my god, it's still chasing! It's a mutant! Get to the water! Oh my god, he goes in the water. Yeah, get back to the water. I think I'm gonna lose him in the water. Okay. And it's too bad that we couldn't get an ender pearl. I didn't know the knights have gotten harder with mutant endermen. That was insane. Day 16. Oh, wait. That's a mushroom kingdom. Dungeons arise. Let's go, dude. But I will take the gold. The obsidian. What is this thing? Or orcerary? What? I'm going to go check out this mushroom house and check out this place. Give me an ender pearl. Wither helmet? A mythic golden quarter staff. What the frick? I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, wait, is this place filled with spiders? Yup. I hate this place a lot. I hate that place so god dang much. Please, this village have a waste stone. I swear to you, it, it, it's Kyber's fault. I'm blaming Kyber. He watched my fantasy Minecraft video and was like, yo, there's just, we, I think we had too many waste stones. Oh, look at that. So for real, in fantasy Minecraft and every single village that I went to, there was always a waste stone there. I guess they must have nerfed it or something, but hey, I can't really complain because it was extremely overpowered before. So thank Thank you, Fantasy Minecraft, for nerfing yes, waystones. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna head home now. 2,000 blocks away. All right, let's go. So I rode a boat all the way back home, and god dang, it took forever. It almost took nearly an entire Minecraft day oh, to get right. there. We're already back. Almost an entire Minecraft day to get here. <laughs> Holy smokes, I didn't realize. Or I, oh, you know what's a good place? Right here. Look at that. Look right here. 
Boom. Yeah. And then we're also going to sleep off for the night. As... Let's go back to the other location. So it's this one. Costs one level. Not a problem. I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to live here. In the end, I did decide to go all the way back into that little ocean base. And I wanted to build a wizard's tower there. Wood that's over there. If that makes any sense. Now that we have everything. So first things first. Let's get our jukebox down. Let's get business dealt with first. I have to light up our area. I really do. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. I was just confused. I was like, wait, what? I'm like, no, 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 no. I ha I know I have some. You take our armor, go like this, reforge. So this one's fine. We got to do the fire robe. You take the amethyst shard. Wait, what is that then? Requires full durability. Oh, what does it require? What the hell? Bruh! I died to a creeper somehow. I don't know. I don't know how, but anyways, uh, can't figure it out because it's saying for me to repair it. it requires this, but the amethyst shard doesn't seem want to. Oh, wait, maybe I need like a reforging anvil. Nope. So what I figured out is something unfortunate. So basically they changed the rarity system, which is, eh, it's okay. It's all right. I'm, I, I mean, you know, I, I can't really complain, right? But we need some more armor stats. So what can we go with? We have this, we get 10 XP levels. So a rune crafting table, craft all the room types, which is really cool. Craft this, we get amethyst shards and a bunch of XP levels, which is fantastic. Obtain the fire techniques. So how do you have that? Equip, equip a spell book in the trinket slot. Use a spell binding table to add spells. We need a spell book. And then tome, what the actual thing is. Unless we can make like Rune Blaze armor for now. Because honestly, Rune Blaze can get us some. Let me make a Rune Blaze. Let me make copper, fire rune, blaze powder. Honestly, it could give us some armor stats, some really good armor stats. I mean, the spell power is just immaculate in terms of like how this stuff works. But yeah, I'm like, I'm going down in HP whenever I wear this. I mean, this one is really good. I feel like I want to remake all of this. Make. Okay, you know what? You know what? Okay, let's sleep. So let's go ahead and make like an enchantment place. So I'm going to grab all my books that we have. We're going to go to the redwood forest over here. We're going to chop down some trees. Down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, that got, that got me a lot. Okay, we're going to head back home. <laughs> that gave me a lot of freaking wood. Then we need to make a an enchantment table, which I need that. Need this. I have books. I have... So I teleported all the way back into the Blackstone Kingdom here to find a lava pit so I can actually grab some obsidian so I can start making the enchanting table and also be placing down the spell binding table to start making some fire magic. Okay, so now we're home. Okay, so now we go like this. Okay, that should be level 30, right? Yep. Now we gotta go back into the nether. Tremble in fear. I'm going to use this thing too. Now you're going to start to see why I hate going to the nether so much because I come here very often. But upon looking at the map, I did see something that I did see from Better Minecraft, my previous playthrough. It was one of those wither villages thingies. And from what I remember, there's I've tons of loot in it. Better Minecraft before. It's very hard, but I have the old man cane, so it shouldn't be that bad. That tower especially... These houses that I don't know of, but it seems like there's not many towers in this place. Very careful. Oh, here we go. Cabinets, which I don't mind. Nether rubies. But the thing is, is that so far I'm not finding those chests. Okay, we're going to go back up. Hang on. Yeah, this is so weird. Why does this place is usually riddled with tons of freaking wither skeletons with armor? Okay, so here is what usually has got the loot. Yes, these chests. Ah, there it is. Diamonds, efficiency five. There they are. Oh, God. Come on. Okay. I'm going to try to get to the spawner. But there is that thing up, up at the top. I know there's a lot more good stuff. Usually, it's got, like, netherite blocks. If you just stop moving. Okay, so we're going to find the spawners. There we go. Oh, there's another one down there. Nice. Look at that. And as my predictions were true, a full netherite block was in my possession. Meaning that way I could possibly make the elite battle mage to skip the entire way of actually mining netherite. What is the Holy shit. What the hell is this? I'm just gonna write, huh? So with all this farting and my whoopee cushion doing some collateral damage, I I'm no longer a fire mage. I'm a fart mage, I think. What do you guys think? I've got a bunch of name tags. Oh shit. 
Okay. I gotta remember I got this thing. Yeah, I think he's dead. They should all be scared of me now, right? No, oh, okay, it doesn't work. And I'm going to fart and leave. That is a brute. I'm going to get two shot by that guy. The nether is always an interesting place to raid and loot things because of the amount of structures that you find. And obviously I don't spend a lot of time in the nether. In previous mod packs and previous playthroughs of my 100 days adventures, I don't typically spend a lot of time in the nether because A, you know, obviously I just, the, the, the essential stuff is just bosses to kill and then getting blaze rods for some, you know, some of the ender eyes to go into the end to go fight the ender dragon. And then that's also the other problem I have is also looting the end and stuff like that. I think I did that in better Minecraft, but look, this mod pack for fantasy Minecraft has a very impressive nether. So you do have to spend a lot of time looting everything around here because it's very oh, essential. Oh shit. I think it's a boss. 500 HP. I don't think I'm ready. No, hang on. I might be ready, actually. Give me a second. These guys got two of them, at least. Uh, I thought that was a totem for a minute. I think I'm going to try it. We're going to fight our first boss. So I grabbed whatever I could that was in terms of diamonds, made myself a full set of diamond gear, like the pants and boots, and equipped everything to fight the All Blaze right, let's King. Let's go fight it. I got full diamond armor. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. There's no way. We're gonna head back home now. There's a couple chests here, actually. Archer boots. Prot four archer boots? What the frick? That's really cool. Paladin leggings. I'll take that. Soul speed three. We're gonna come back whenever we're stronger. Holy shit, there's so many up there. So I did that one thing again where I just farmed a bunch of blaze rods at that nether fortress where the spawner was and then had to return all the way back home to just unload everything inside of my chests and then also start trying to figure out how to do the rarity system for the fire robes. In which I couldn't figure out by the way, so I need some help. All right, I have a little bit of a plan of action here, and I actually been studying a little bit for the stuff of magic. Yes, your boy has been doing a little bit of studying because I feel a little bit underpowered while playing this right now. Because usually I'm used to being very, very tanky in any sort of like game, in any sort of mod packs or runs that I'm doing. I usually end up being the tank, and the tank is normally I don't die as easily. So I have to remember that I am down hearts. Uh, my armor stats are very low. I have four bars of armor and I need to upgrade my armor or change the rarity of the armor. And I also need to deal more damage. Damage output is a little bit short. So I've been doing some studying and it seems I have figured some things out. But first I need to get some books because your boy needs to make some enchanting. So we got a book here and then we're also going to be needing this spell binding table. What we can do with this, I was seeing that you can remove this guy, take the enchanting table back, swap it out for a spell binding table, put the lapis, put a book, and then here we go. So you see with all this stuff, you have an archery manual, runic evasions, pal paladin librem. Uh, you, I mean, I can't really... Oh, wait. Oh, I can scroll through this crap. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so I can scroll through. What I really want is fire techniques right here. You see this? So that way I can like... Oh, or... Or we get Tome of the Fire, which is really good. The next thing we need to do is make a actual wand. So we're going to get Tome of the Fire, right? And then with Tome of the Fire, I can now, with levels that I have, I can use to uh, get really cool stuff. So stuff like Fireball, right? And then we can enchant it to get Fireball, which is really cool. So basically, if I hold, if I hold this in the offhand, and then, oh wait, no, not this. Hold that in the offhand, like right, oh yeah, right here. Where is it here? Yeah, right here. If I am holding a staff, I can actually cast the spell Fireball, in which we're going to do right now because we need that. <laughs> Here, the fire staff. To make a fire staff, obviously, it seems like we need to get nether brick, some sticks, and some more blaze powder, in which I think we are out of blaze powder, I think. Oh, wait. No, it's right here. We got some right there. We also have some nether rack right here. And boom, here we go. Then we go over here, and then we craft the fire staff, and there we go, and there we go. There we have it. But now if I right click, as you can see in the bottom left there, I can 
Oh, I need fire runes. That's right. Okay, I need to get some fire runes. But I also have an idea for some other armor we can make. Oh, they're right here. So now, if I right click, boom! And it usually it causes a little impact. So now I can actually cast fireball instead of just. So basically, what I can do is I can swap. Burn them on fire with the fire wand, then swap to the fire staff, throw a fireball, and then honestly, like, with the rest of the upgrades that I can get on here. Oops. You can get uh, fire breath, which is a massive, like, um, AoE kind of thing, but it's more or less to hit multiple targets. This is an AoE one. The meteor, it's, uh, it does a lot of big damage, so... I also have to practice on like trying to stay away and shoot from afar because I have a bad habit of just going in and killing stuff when <laughs> I don't have a... Uh, a lot of, sh you know, strong armor on me. So I gotta, like, stay back and go whap, 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 and shoot all my stuff. So that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on getting some more levels, fighting some bosses. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do, since we have some netherite now, is we want to get... It's either we want to make the elite wizard set, since we get some armor stats, which will keep us a little bit more alive, or the elite battle mage. But the thing is, is we get 25% spell power if we go with the Battle Mage, in which we can make a Netherite chest plate, in which we can afford with an Arcane Rune with a Magical Ingot, which is not that bad. This needs a Citrine, so honestly, we can probably go with this because the 25% spell power is probably insane. Compared to this one, this one has plus 2 fire spell power. I'd rather go with 25% spell power on each piece of armor so we're gonna go with the elite battle mage um, since we already have the was it the full diamond gear that i've already crafted right about here okay so let's take off our armor <laughs> and we're gonna place that in here i'm gonna put this set of armor and we're gonna grab some arrows because we're gonna be needing that uh do we have any emeralds actually i think where are the emeralds at do we not have any more oh damn okay we're gonna also gonna hold this guy right to here too so that way we don't die okay so let's go to the nether so I did that one thing again, going into the nether and having to get more blaze powder for some more fire runes to use more magic. Man, this this whole process is taking quite a bit of time and I needed to figure out a different way uh, or a different method per se to get more uh, fire runes or blaze powder. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can make a blaze farm instead of killing them manually every single time to come back for blaze rods and blaze powder. I'm trying to see from the dev to see if there's a silk touch on spawners and it doesn't seem like there is. So I'm going to see if there's another way to obtain blaze rods a little bit faster instead of farming blaze rods all day long. <laughs> Alright, day 22, there we go, that's what I was wondering, I was like, alright, so let's grab some cobblestone, let's grab some wool as well. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is, I have an idea, I'm gonna make, like, a little contraption and another to, like, kill the blaze spawners a little bit quicker. I'm gonna make a new set of boots, and hopefully they're gonna be good. Hey, they're actually good! Like, they're not bad at all, which is nice. <laughs> all right, so we got Fo Tome of the Fire. Gives us 5 free XP there. And so I proceeded to claim all the rewards from doing the quest line from what I've been doing. After defeating the, the Decaying King. Ooh. We got to find the Decaying King, dude. All right, I can do that. Sale and a book or something like that. In the realms of pixels and bites where coordinates align, seek ye not just one, but two to see the grand design. Add the X's and thy shall show the pathway to uncover the double up with the Z's embrace the secret they discover. Alright. Well, we'll definitely have to go take a look at that. We also have ship stuff that we can do with. Give me something good. No way! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> a mythic fire staff jesus 30 percent spell critical chance 100 percent spell critical damage plus four fire spell and 30 percent spell haste dude that is insane what the frick staff with one ingot in which should give us the netherite fire staff fire breath and then you're also gonna get meteor boom that's what we needed all the levels for by the way if you guys were wondering and now ladies and gentlemen but now i can also cast a, a barrage of fire Rawr, like this Woo. look at that that, that that's just that, that that's just crazy and then i can also cast upon a meteor I'm, i don't want to shoot it on those guys i'm going to shoot over here a meteor shower get out of the way oh shit 
<laughs> Thank God I didn't hit the villager. <laughs> Here, we want this armor set. What we need to focus on is getting the magical ingots. So we need a scarlet shard, and we also need a moonlight shard. In order to get these, you need to go mining, and then we also need to mine some iron. So, you know what that calls for? A mining trip, guys. We're going to go on a little bit of a mining trip. Day 23, which is not bad. So you know what this calls for, right? So oh got another mining trip. I needed to get some very specific minerals to make the set of armor that I'm planning on doing. So I needed to find a nearby cave and start mining out all the minerals that I can and just need a significant amount of stuff. And also doing all of this and collecting all these different kinds of ores also helps me, you know, complete more quests. Wait, no, this is what we need right here. This is it. This is the stuff. Ooh, uh, hello. Quadrillium. Oh, all right. Let's try out the staff. Here we go. Oh, shooting another fireball. Oh, God. Barrage of... <laughs> Wait, let's... There we go. Now he's dead. Dude, there's another silver ore in this pack. That's insane. More kite. Oh, Minecart. Here we go. Woo! Golden apple. I'll take that, you know. Uh, Sigma underscore what? <laughs> okay, here we go. Day 24. Day 24. Here we go. Oh, citrine. There's a giant cave underneath me right here. More citrine? Ooh, gold. I'm going to make camp right here, and I'm going to make a bucket of water. So I made myself a bucket of water so I can ascend down into this gigantic cave in which I found on the map. And well, going upon in this gigantic cave was filled with Hello, everything. guys. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing! <laughs> Dude, I'm starting to love magic. <laughs> Scarlet! That's it! That's the stuff! We got some more moonstone. This is what we're gonna use for some more equipment. Whoa. There's a structure right here. What the flip? Oh no, don't tell me it's this one. Is it the one that I hate very much? Huh? Wait, is this a stronghold? No, okay. Never mind. Oh! Oh, is that our stuff right there? Yes! Yo, we got it! Let's freaking go! Alright, I don't feel like I want to go down there just yet because I still want to gather some gear that's up here. No. Oh my god, there's something right here! There's more of it. That's gonna be Ore Chalcum. Yes, it is! Ore Chalcum! The good stuff! Oh, I need a diamond pickaxe for that. That is the good stuff, boys. <laughs> so we got... Oh, we got mithril. That's what we need right here. That's for the, the mithril pickaxe that we can get here. I don't know how much mithril we're going to need, but... That's all that tropical fish just swimming around in here, man. Oh, what are those? Oh, Armand, let's go. That bucket. There, 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 and there. Hey. Holy smokes. Take a look at that. And so I made ways all the way back into the kingdom and used the waypoint to go home. Okay, waystone back home. There we go. Damn, it feels good to be back. Damn. That, okay, this is going to be expensive then. We might have to go get some more netherite templates. It doesn't change the rarity, right? We still have that. Perfect and schlong. Like that. Boom. All we need is four, right? Two here. Bang, bang. Shots that out. Boom. Iron. Red. Blue. There we go. Magical ingot. Chest plate. Magical ingot. And then arcane rune. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy smokes. Elite battle mage robes. Oh, wait, we have another one. We can make another one. Sweet. Okay, that, I thought I thought that was going to be like the only one we'll be able to get that. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. It is day 27. Then I'm going to craft a diamond helmet and pray to God that it's something good. Frig it. <laughs> Put this one. We're going to melange these two guys and we're going to get... Hey, actually something awesome. Okay, good. You get a magical ingot. Oh, my God. Friends. Swap this out, put that down, put this down over here. Food reserves, amplify spell. Like, I don't know what any of these, like, kind of enchantments, then, what they do. So deflect three when you are shot with an arrow, there's a chance of the arrow. I mean, that's all right. Frenzied, respiration one with frenzied. So this is why we want the grindstone first. Do I want to put it all on right now? Take this off and then bang, bang, and then bang. Holy moly, look at that, dude. <laughs> with more of the quests that I saw, 
uh, there was a thing that I can make a nature's quest to get some more XP. More XP means more enchantments for all the fire stuff that I want to enchant, like my armor, my staffs. And so I went all the way out, chopped down some trees, and got whatever I needed and returned all the way back home to make the nature's compass. Make a compass, and I haven't made a compass in forever, so... Um... I'm pretty sure... I need gold... And, uh, redstone, right? I hope I have redstone. I'm pretty sure that I do. I don't think I have redstone. Oh, I do. Okay, thank god. Okay, it's a compass. Now we need the iron. Iron can be over right here. Boom, like that. What does this thing do? 2xp. So what does this nature's compass do again? I think this is like a biome thing, right? And on day 28, I did some organization of my chest because everything was a complete mess. I, man, trying to search through everything and find everything was a disaster. So I, this was definitely there needed. Go. Nice little light in the air is brightening up the day. I'm gonna make some more fire wings. I think I got a stack here like that. And what is going on in here? What do you guys think? It's like a freaking party of some sort in here some social gathering that i can just let you guys walk inside of my house that i just casually took over wizard merch wait what oh wait yeah for the rune alt rune crafting altar you gotta oh my god that is amazing dude if i can get an actual fletcher that can trade sticks for emeralds i can i can trade emeralds for fire runes without having dude i don't have to go farm blazes anymore i just figured it out man in total right now we have one two three villagers let's see how many more villagers like a weapon wait what what we have a weapon smith here too wait where oh is it from the grindstone yeah there we go perfect bro what <laughs> what is that i want this give me this please thank you and then we're also going to break this lectern. You're going to be jobless. Oh, yeah. The, we, okay, so the mason. Oh, because we have an anvil and a smithing table. We have six so far, bro. Already doing pretty good. Oh, no! He turned to... No! This was my Fletcher. Have a job. Armorer. Yeah, let's go. There we go. We got another one. Okay. Chance to spawn emeralds with every block explored. So, which is an, an infinite supply of emeralds. Oh, yeah. So, it's the boots. <laughs> Give me something good. I will take it. You know what? That is a lot better. I get two match HP. That I, I'm going to take this. And on day 30, I used up all my points in the skill tree and decided to start putting some torches all around on the island because of the mobs were getting at my villagers. And I've already had a couple of villagers die on me. Because part of my quest that Kevy Devi had sent me was to obtain at least 10 different kinds of villagers. So I gathered a bunch of resources and researched, actually researched some stuff about how, about all the different types of villagers that you can get. So I assigned a different job. jobs to now different villagers. that's what I'm talking about. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, and you're a nitwit! <laughs> you suck, dude. You ruined my challenge. The Explorer's Compass. The Explorer's Compass is going to allow us to actually find structures, boss arenas, and everything that we want. Oh yeah, dude, we can figure out what we can do with the raw mithril. You need to put in a blast furnace. I have to make another blast furnace in order to cook that. Is there, a, there, isn't there like a mithril? Oh, into a dura steel. Oh, I see. Okay. And then that mithril ingot is done. You can actually make a mithril pickaxe, which is way better than diamond. And hopefully we get... Oh, it's a poopy one, though. Oh, my God. Okay, what about another one? Let's make another one. Oh, my God. Two bad... Okay, two bad ones make an even worse one. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened here? Some crap blew up my house. And would you look at that? Another journey through the nether. And what did I tell you? There's another bash in here, it looks like. But we have to get a boss defeated within these ten next 10 days. So I continued and fought tooth and nail through the nether and looting up different kinds of structures. No! <laughs> Watch this. So I'm going to summon a meteor on your bitch ass. <laughs> Seems like there's nothing up here, but... Oh, wait, there's blaze. Oh, wait, it's these structures, right? There's ancient debris in this stuff. Just gotta kill this guy. Ow, what the frick? He's the withering, okay. Alright, he's dead now. What the frick is that? Jesus, and we have a cursed eye, netherite diamond ring, netherite diamond amulet. Alright, from what I know is that if you keep going deeper and deeper, I know you can. Oh, yeah, there's 
the, oh, he, there's another guy right here. Oh, it's just a blaze. Oh, we one tap the blazes. Oh shit. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I gotta get out. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta heal real quick. Oh my god. I hate blazes so much. Okay. The other ones died instantly. How come that guy didn't die right away? Shaped glass. Massive increase the damage dealt, but the item will take more damage in return. That is a pretty good book. We got a mythic crusader chest plate. We're going to take that, okay? 50% <laughs> reabsorption? Uh, don't mind if I do. Uh, I'm going to put these coin purse in here because I know I'm like, whatever, but we have another cursed die. Then we have a pendant of sunfire. A gift from the owner of the Majester's Terrace, the greatest of wizards. Eight. Oh my god, this is exactly what we were needing! What the flip is that? Alright, we got another another right diamond blast protection here. Ooh, a crystal heart. Nice. Condenses a cloud under the player. They must remain crouching. Wow. And then this gives me 10 max HP. Too bad the whoopee cushion's gotta go because it's a belt item, right? What is down here now? One more time. Oh shit. Oh my god, I keep... God damn, dude, that was crazy. I don't know what's going on. Blazes are just not my friend, I don't think. Oh my god, a Sunflower Signet too? What the frick is happening? Nightblood, hello, would you like to destroy some evil today? Oh, did we reach the bottom? Yeah, I think we reached the bottom. All right, now we gotta do the other tower. Whoa! Oh yeah, look at that. Day 31, so now we gotta go up. Yeah, hang on. Let's just rain a meteor over there. That's good. Oh, God! Essence of Ender. Chance for an enemy to randomly teleport away when they attack you. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. We want to get this, the M power. Yeah, let's go over here. And fart. I'm gonna jump again. Man, I love these jellyfish guys because as soon as you tap them, they blow up. Boom! <laughs> See you, <ya>, buddy! <laughs> yeah, I was here before. Okay, so it was that little bastion last time. Okay. Wait, what is that? Is that. Wait, that's the nether gauntlet, I think. The decaying king! Wait, what? Oh! Dude, I don't have any golden apples. This guy is just gonna deteriorate my health, but... <laughs> well, I have three golden carrots for saturation. What do you guys think? I wasn't expecting to fight the decaying king right now, but we can go ahead and try it. Here we go. All right, here we go. Where's the entrance to this place, bro? All right, so since we're a fire mage, we're gonna play this smart. <laughs> Sucker. Whoa. Pays us dudes... Pay with your life, you have till the hex like wait what? No, this guy's gonna die. There you go, I don't care. Die bro! God I hate fire. <laughs> Just the fire mage. Wheat wusses, wheat wusses, let's go. Let's do this! Summon number three. Go again. Another fireball here. Here we go. We're gonna go in with a big shot. Dell damage here. Oh, that was nice right there. I'm gonna throw another meteor on you. Eat my sauce. <laughs> Boom! Eat my shorts. Eat my shorts. Let's freaking go. Eat my damn shorts. And we have the darkened blade. The classic weapon of fantasy Minecraft. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was a lot easier than I thought. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, I don't trust anything in the nether. It might be linked to something. Pendant of Sunfire. I got a notch apple. Oh, you know what? It's like an ancient city, but in the nether. Yeah, it's basically like an ancient with a giant portal. At least there's no wardens. Am I, am I right? <laughs> oh, warden carapace. I definitely want that. Yeah, Ancient City Nether, literally what it says here. Is there a chest up here? Oh, yeah. Got Fire Aspect 2. All right, let's go towards the portal. It's closed off, it looks like. 
There we go. Where does this portal go? Back home? Where is that? All right, we're, we're gonna keep going. Waste of time to come up here. Yeah, I never realized that how many ancient city kind of stuff that you see in like the nether and in the end as well. You find everything until you find something like this. What the hell is that guy? Oh, he's cool looking. <laughs> that was sick. Mutant skeleton pelvis. And he just died. Dude, that was awesome. But that wasn't the only issue. There was one other thing in this world. And, and of course, I went to go try and look for it. And well, I did find it. And of course, I knew what it was. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Gauntlet Arena. Yep. Because... Ouch. I'm going to keep drinking these potions of regen because that's the only way I'm going to be able to stay alive during this fight. I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now, though. I'll probably do it. I think. I hope. I don't have any food, so I'm relying on potions of regeneration. So we're going to see how this goes. All right, here we go. How many runes? Oh, man, I don't have any. I don't have enough runes, dude. I just realized... Okay. 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 The only way I'm going to be able to get him now is if I get him close with this. Then you go like that. I don't have a fire rune. Holy shit. My magic has not gone unnoticed. I can no longer sprint. Okay, go. Just dig, just dig. Dig, 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 dig. God damn. I don't know if I can do this. Okay, I like this. Yeah, like this. I needed to evacuate this mission because, well, I was out of fire runes and I didn't have enough firepower. Get it? <laughs> firepower because I'm a fire mage. Anyways, I didn't have enough power to actually kill this thing and I needed more, so I decided to go back out. No netherite template. I just need one, bro. Just one. I think I would have killed the nether, no, the nether gauntlet if I would have had more fire runes which is unfortunate. I don't. I'm pretty sure I can get those templates in that castle. Holy cow. Okay. I'm actually happy to go home. Unsuccessful, but I would say successful, unsuccessful. Scored a bunch of cool stuff and all that stuff, but I will need to be purchasing more fire runes off your bitch ass. And I also need to acquire more emeralds and I will be needing to make that piece of armor. We also have to make a wiz a giant wizard's tower. So what is it to repair? Go here, and I should tell you. Oh my god, you need netherite ingots to to repair this crap. Netherite, that is insane. Prot 4! Look at that, we have the Prot 4 book, which is nice. It has Unbreaking 3 on there. What the frick, dude? There we go, Prot 4. Oh, here it is, Unbreaking 2. The leggings are going to be needing it. Boom. All right, let's go mining. Let's go back for some more diamonds. Get there some diamonds? I need a lot of it. Then we're gonna fight the returning knight as well after. Wait! No! Prison quarters! Prison quarter has a bunch of diamonds and gold in it, right? I forgot that shit existed. Let's do it. Oh my god, yes! Totally forgot this thing existed! Oh my god, it's already the downstairs right here? Okay. Oh my god! Yes, and we're gonna get all the emeralds in here too. This is, you know what? This was a better idea. Reminding when we can roleplay as an actual fire mage in a dungeon. Ha <laughs> ha! Dead. Fire prot too! Let's go! And diamonds! Look at that! You see? More diamonds! More cob- Hey, that's all the cobwebs we need. It's just four. And we already get- We're already off to a good start, guys. Prot three, infinity piercing. What's in here? Why are you going anywhere? Because we can ascend down to get some more crap. Oh, Dude, as much as I love the katana, I do have to leave it. I gotta leave the katana behind, man. That is so suck. That's, my, that's one of my favorite weapons in this freaking mod. All right, and there's a chest right here too. We'll go down right here, loot that chest. We got, i put that on the sword. And we're gonna have tons of emeralds to trade for more fire runes. Because eventually those prices are going to drop on that villager. Dude, I, I honestly like being the mage now. Now that I actually can deal enough damage. Bell velocity one, which we're going to need again. 
Okay, so I think that's the entire dungeon. And I'm gonna go home. <laughs> uh. You climb the chains, you climb that one, then you climb this one, empty those in the backpack. Pretty sure it's nighttime too. All right, so we also have more skill points. We have six skill points we can spend. A uh, chance on spell cast to gain a stack of attunement, which is really important to get. And then also attuned, when you have five or more stacks of attunement, periodically convert them into stacks of precision. Increase the spell critical damage and critical chance by 2% and then times the stack. So, I mean, like, ha uh ha. -huh. Want that fire damage that's there. Critical damage, one jump. I also think I should make my wizard's tower as well. Uh, actually, like, make a house. Find the decaying king. Get a wither skull. And so I went through my quest book again to obviously gain some more rewards and also enchant my armor with a bunch of enchantment books that I got from the freaking prison quarter, man. And this is why I love the Mind Cells mod a lot. You know what? We have a saddle. What's up, big guy? Now, how do I ride you? How do I ride you? Where the frick are you going? All right. We gotta get rid of this world tree. Unfortunately, I like this tree a lot, but we gotta get rid of it. And I think I just have enough levels to go there and back, so I gotta make sure I get a bunch of wood. What do you guys think? That's enough logs? <laughs> That's quite a bit. Dude, that thing is not done yet. Okay, we're burning it. So I watched the freaking world tree that was on the Smile Island burn to the very bitter ashes. And so I can start doing a gigantic freaking wizard's tower. So what I'm thinking is, is that to make it diff have like different colors and different aspects, I'm going to pillar all the way up. I don't know how many levels I'm going to go, but we're going to see how, go how far we can get. Oh, now look at that. I forgot a freaking spot. <laughs> oh, God. It, you know what? It looks really boxy, but once we put, add a little lip to it and stuff, it's going to look all right. It's not the greatest looking thing. Remember, guys, I'm not a great builder. <laughs> well, there, is, there is a question I want to ask you guys in the comments, um, and feel free to give your opinions on it, all right? So what I've been wondering is what made you guys get into Minecraft, right? Because for a lot of different people, it was like they watched a lot of different YouTube videos that had like a bunch of like cool Minecraft content that was featured and they were like interested in these mod packs or something like that. There was like a YouTuber that was like playing on a server or made some really cool content. Or you just, you saw the hype of Minecraft and you're like, yo, I gotta, I gotta like hop on it, you know? So for me, I was watching uh, my friend actually play Minecraft and I was like, oh dude, I gotta like play this because it looks really good. This was like uh, 2011. And so I got into Minecraft uh, obviously playing a cracked version. I'm sure a lot of you guys did it too. I will be the one person that and will admit that I did play a cracked version of Minecraft. <laughs> but yes, um, I played cracked Minecraft for a very, very, very long time. For the longest I can remember. Oh my god, it's been quite a while. Uh, I used to be super scared when I, because I was a kid. I was like, uh, I was 12. I was 12 at the time. I was too scared to leave my house or anywhere around because I would get lost. And the night I was just like, what the heck? It actually gave me the creeps. Like, I don't know what it was about older Minecraft, but older Minecraft was just a different vibe, a different kind of game compared to what it is now. I feel like Minecraft now is very saturated. Older Minecraft was horrifying. Like, very scary. I don't know if any of you guys think the same thing too, but, you know, like, it just has a whole different feeling to it. It's kind of like playing Black Ops nowadays, like you're playing Call of Duty Black Ops compared to playing, like, the first Call of Duty Black Ops. Something about it. You know what's even, you know what's even, what's a better example? Call of Duty World at War. Call of Duty World at War was just a, a scary game. It was a very, very, very scary game. Just the aesthetic, like the, the intro, whenever you start up the game, Call of Duty World at War is like, and then the introduction to zombies. Oh boy, whole new level of scariness, man. I just feel like a lot of games these days just are not the same feeling as like whenever I was younger. I just me, maybe me just getting old and I'm just saying that, but I'm, I'm saying like video games, they don't tend to make them as good as they were before. I don't know. There's a lot of like paywalls behind a lot of different video games that oh my god there's so many freaking mobs in there hang on 
light up the area. Oh, rage. And back to work I went onto my house. Well, I, I, aka my mage tower or wizard's tower or whatever tower you want to call it. Or how about LeBlock? I, I think I'm going to put the enchanting stuff up here. I don't, I'll keep it there for now. I wish I would have made it somewhere else, but yeah, I, I'm going to need more books in order to get that. So I was planning on moving every single thing and putting it inside of my mage tower, like having multiple different floors and every single enchantment room that you need, like a spellbinding one and the actual enchantment table. Actually, speaking of which, guys, are you guys going outside and enjoying the fresh air? Do you guys do that? If, if not, I, I highly suggest that you do. It is very healthy to go outside once in a while to get some fresh air. Well, it's not the greatest looking thing. It's really fat. That's all I can say. But you know what? It's <laughs> it's doable. <laughs> I'm just trying to make an iron shovel. There we go. Mythic. <laughs> That's the most annoying thing about fantasy Minecraft is this rarity thing. Why can't like uncommon just be a normal shovel without all these like bag lashes on them? Boom. Just like that. The entire floor is gone. I'm gonna keep all this gravel though. So with all my cobblestone I had, I put it in a grind and then made a bunch of cobblestone stone bricks. Oh, and we're out. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do for our storage system. We're gonna do it all across this wall. I'm gonna go get some glowstone. We're gonna need it to uh, brighten up the place and like the floor and stuff like that. Get some natural lighting, get some lanterns. I think we have some from the uh, Cincinnati area, but I think I already put that around. I think this should be enough. If it's not, then I don't know what is life anymore. What is life? Baby, don't uh depress me. We're gonna travel back and forth and try to transfer everything. I'm gonna use the backpack too, that way I can carry more stuff. But I'm gonna do one chest at a time because we're finally moving out of this house, okay? Finally moving out. We're gonna leave these villagers alone so that way they can have their own house to themselves. Hey, what's up, man? Coming in for a visit? Coming to see your new home? Your new home is beautiful, isn't it? Right? It's gorgeous. In terms of mage, I know a mage is a young, younger lad, right? Let me just look this up, okay? What age are mages? Yeah, mages don't age, which is pretty cool. Yennefer in the Witcher. Sorry, god damn, I, I, I had a massive brain fart. Yeah, Yennefer in the Witcher is 90 years old, which I did not know. So I haven't watched or played any of the Witcher games in a while, so don't, uh, don't cancel me. If I am incorrect, correct me in the comment section. I will be there to read it. <laughs> At least we're going to be organized from now on. But there's a story I want to tell you guys. It's really funny. It's an inside joke, but I don't know if you guys will get it. So we were watching a video a long time ago. So uh, my friend Tez and I were trying to make the horror Minecraft mod pack. In which a lot of you guys know now because Pixel Dream Studios took over the development of it. Because I, I, I made a deal with them. If, you know, I'm like, hey, if I make a pack, uh, can you guys publish it? Because like you guys can have like whatever you want to it. Like I don't, I don't care. They can have the publicity for it i'll just make the pack they're like yeah sure and so they advertise my, my 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 pack and whatever and long story short in order to make this pack we went on youtube and we found a bunch of videos to you know see what we can add inside the mod pack because like there's a bunch of different cool stuff that's you know that's out there and we came across this one video <laughs> So we came across this one video, and this one video turned out to be one of the funniest experiences I've had in a while while we were watching it. So it's this guy with a really, really, really heavy accent, okay? How he speaks is very good. So we're trying to understand him, we're trying to comprehend him, so then we're like, okay, so he's explaining, like, the parasites and stuff like that. And throughout the entire video, this guy has not sworn one bit, okay? He hasn't sworn one bit. Up until... The, he was talking about the par the spore parasite mods, and he literally just drops like the biggest like f bomb. I'm not talking. We're talking like mother freaker, you know. It's just the way he said it, dude, was so out of nowhere, and it was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing, dude. It's because like the entire time he's being so serious, and he's telling it like a YouTuber with that YouTuber voice, like, "All right, in this video, blah 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 blah." blah. You know, and then he just, out of nowhere, this massive thick accent, like, even with my enchanted apple, that shit made me die of laughter, okay? And we still need to find a netherite template. My enchanted apple, these motherfuckers still inflicted to Oh, this is gonna be a great light source. I'm gonna take this, too. I'm gonna leave it with you. Actually, I'm gonna take this, though. It's another good light source. 
There we go. Woohoo! So you guys can have that house back, okay? So I was needing to do that one thing again where you cook a bunch of soul sand to make lord souls. And what do you guess? What do you think this is for? This is for the almighty boss of the returning knight. Yes, lost soul. Okay. And then to make the iron skull, we need a bunch of bones and iron. In which I think we have bones. We have the right amount of bones. Here, you make that. That. Right? And then you craft this. And then boom now i don't remember how what goes into this and we're gonna find like an area to, to battle him out i don't want to battle him on i don't want to battle him on this island you know i kind of want to go like a plains biome something a little bit more sufficient for my taste we also need to get some more fire runes. So it's this guy right here. It's just the texture pack makes it look weird. Okay. It's, it's not my fault. Okay. I swear to you guys. It's not my fault. Sorry. One of you guys is losing a job. Uh, I need more fire runes. Oh, he must have died from like the explosion or something. Are we not? Are we crazy or something? Did they go into the nether? No way. They probably went through the portal. Dude, that would be hilarious if they did and they end up dying. Rick. So now I'm going to have to make a rune crafting table with andesite. This is going to be a tough one. I've always struggled to find actual just Minecraft vanilla andesite. Yeah, I have a good feeling that there's going to be another rune crafting table over here. We're going to try our best to keep those villagers safe too. So I might trap them inside my old house so that way they don't go outside and end up dying. Well, let's see what we can do. All right, where's the unemployed dude? Is you unemployed? Come here. There you go. Thank you. Ah, two emeralds. Here, a lot more of a cheapskate than the other guy. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business. And you, my sir, need to freaking stay alive, okay? Step inside the boat. Step inside the boat. Get in it. Just get it. Yes. <laughs> freaking loser. You're the only really important villager I need right now. And I need you to stay alive. There you are. Hey, bud. We're going out for a trip, okay? That's pretty neat. I like that. Look at this. Woo hoo hoo. All right, do we want to fight him on the beaches? There's a lot of lot of fire going on over here. I think we're going to go and fight it like... Oh, there's a Colosseum right here. What if we fought him in the Colosseum? That would be insane. Like right here? Oh, yeah. That would be cool. This would be cool if we did. Day 47. What you do is you put the altar down. Right? There you go. You got the magic particles. And then... Oh, I don't miss that. I don't miss that at all, dude. That is amazing. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot he's got minions. <laughs> These are the healers, if I remember. Yeah, he's got healers. Yo, this is a perfect spot to put him in, too. So he's got a healer right there. I'm going to get rid of him. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, we got this, we got this. We got this. What the heck? Hey, hey, hey! What? Stop! Stop doing trades! I'm trying to kill your ass, bro! Whoa! Holy shit! What the frick is happening? What happened? What the frick is going on? Oh my god! What? Bro, what is even happening? I don't understand. We kill all the sorcerers again. Okay, here we go. Another meteor strike. Oh, just die, just die, just die, just die. Right here, right here. Let's go! Holy moly, that took forever. Longer than I thought it was going to take, man. Like, there was these hex guys that came out of, out of nowhere. Who were these guys? I don't understand. 
pay with your soul. I killed. I remember. Oh yes, I remember. I killed one before, but there wasn't a giant army of stuff, and then like depleting my armor like crazy. I'm gonna have like no choice but to repair everything, dude. That was a lot harder than I expected it to be. Oh wow. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Not bad. There's also another one, right? Mass miss missive from Magnus by Ma oh Magus. Sorry, Magus. We also got an Arkan stone. We have the hex blade. Uh, we have the Nightfall too now. With the returning knight being dead, it was time for me to go back home and unload everything that was in my inventory. So I took my newly found friend, aka my phoenix, which I believe is a Polish uh, mythic being. I'm not entirely sure. You guys have to remind me in the comment section. Do soul ingot chest plate. All right, that's pretty good. Looks pretty cool. Frostmorn, get lost souls, you get something like this. Ooh, man, that's pretty sick. We have the Nightfall. If any of you guys want to see what the Nightfall looks like, it looks like this. Dude, they remodeled it. Holy shit, it looks awesome. What the frick? Does it still have that ability? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was like one of my favorite weapons. We also got the Prismatic Energy. Used to use in Glass Ocean to summon Magus if available. We have to kill Magus from Spellblades because I think it's probably a boss or something like that that we got to kill now, which we can do. Since so we have that. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four. There we go. Then we have Junction. As my faithful minion, you are to deal with any magic users detected in the realm. Also, if you run into any spell components for my alter oh, alternating, was it alternating barrier, do take it back with you. Definitely make a quick work of those paladins. Uh, no, paladins and priests for me as they are my greatest enemies. Okay, so paladins, these guys, they don't like, so we have to kill. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that, that was sick. And so I was needing to go back into the nether to actually get a netherite template to finish off the set of my boots. Okay, so we gotta get to the top. There's also a boss guy up there, so we gotta be careful of him. But those top chests will have some good stuff, so we gotta go all the way up to the top. God. This damage is insane now. I, I'm, I'm going to admit it is actually crazy. Crossbow is legendary. I'm going to take it in case we need, in case we run into trouble. Royal Longbow. Oh no, it's one of these places again. The Blaze King. Do we want to fight the Blaze King, guys? Whoa, what the frick is that thing? More diamonds? Oh no, I have to kill this boss that's down here. This method of trying to find the netherite template was very difficult for some reason because man, you will see later down the future where I I tend to spend hours and hours trying to find the netherite templates and in which I've learned my valuable lesson here of not trying to make more duplicates and just using up whatever. I should have just saved it instead of wasting diamonds on that stupid diamond helmet, but y you know, you live, you learn, and you have to move past on your mistakes oh, that you've damn done. it! Come on! I want the other template, not this one. Okay, template, template, template! This is, uh... This is, this, this one's getting annoying to see now. You know what I'm saying? Template, template, template! Damn it! Oh, gunpowder. I will definitely take all the gunpowder so I can make, uh... Are you serious? There's more of these guys? Hey, what does he say? Hang on. What does he say? Greetings, rogue mage. Pay us your dues or pay with your life. You have until the hex expires. How do I pay you? Rune frost? I don't have this stuff. I don't have a spell. Wait, uh, should have picked one up. Sorry, dude. Don't tell me I have to fight again. Holy shit! I regret being mages, man. Okay, look, 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 look. I don't want to have anything to do with you guys at all. Just end up all dying. Just all die. Just die. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to go like this. Make it rain on them over there. <laughs> I'm going to let you in on the bad news, guys. We can now make some fire runes, but we don't have another right template. So, the jump boost. We're going to jump boost right up here. Day 49. Still nothing out here, dude. 
So day 49, I've started traveling a little bit further. There's the Decaying King boss arena right there. And then there's like a thing here. Oh, there's one here. Which has a mythical cutlass with lightning bound five, which is pretty nice with some gas tears. I feel like we should probably get into some potion making at some point. We need potions of fire resistance. <laughs> nice little banner. Oh my god. Oh yes! God, I just had to. I, I'm sorry. I had to let that out, dude. I am. We f of course we find a netherite template in something that has curse of vanishing inside the chest. All right, but now it's time for us to get the hell out of here. We need to go all the way home and make the rest of the set of armor that we need. We're also very low on food. Well, mob captains there. Do we want to kill those guys? They're red. Are they? Does that mean mythical? Oh, okay. They just they just die. Okay. That was easy. A little too easy for my taste. What's that? They're bang bang your mom bang them no more like more like bang your bang your mom. <laughs> ow, ow. Okay, we're gonna go down a bit more. Hopefully this slow falling got 17 seconds. Just go right above down. Uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Oh oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Go swim, swim! Drank the potion. God damn. Dude, if I would have stayed in that fire, that would have been the end of me. Um, we have the smithing table over there. Okay, so here we go. Finally, a pair of mythic. Since we have quite a bit of diamonds this time, our legendary. So let's just let's just try our luck. No, let's just, tr okay, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, you know what? We're going to do this one. Then we go to smithing table for some reason. Elite battle mage boots. Boom. Quick, we're going to cook this raw beef because I am a hungry boy. <laughs> Other one here. I'm breaking three with beast burst three using a healing potion. We're actually going to use that. We'll just add, we'll see if we have a fraud on here with unbreaking three what can we get with unbreaking three fire aspect with unbreaking three which isn't that great so we're gonna go ahead and re-roll that give us some high spell power please yes oh that's good that's good that's good i will take that i will take that any day mend i don't know what mend is but we're gonna learn it put the boots here with a feather falling what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on here fire aspect two Bam. And then backstabbing with unbreaking three. We're going to have this with unbreaking three on here. So that way we don't lose this thing. So it's got a quite a bit of durability. Now this will give us chances with every block that we explore will give us a chance to get emeralds, right? That's what I was seeing. That's, that's how that works. Bellcaster book. Ooh, okay. That's pretty sweet. With all that. So now you grab this and that. Woo. Perfect. Look at that. So here's what I got planned right now. It's either a, we can decorate the, the wizard's tower a little bit more. Let me just get rid of the skeleton. Poof. Um, we could actually start upgrading her backpack. Go, go like go and try to kill some more bosses and then also find all the eyes of Ender and go to the end. Because I find that like every time I play these types of mod packs like Fantasy Minecraft, I fight the Ender Dragon, but then don't go into the end to actually explore what's in there. So like killing the tower of uh the tower of Obsidolith and much other bosses that are there. Yep, there you go. And now you got a bejeweled backpack. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Three. Oh yeah, it's just three. Okay, here we go. Boom. We're also gonna harvest some more emeralds. We're gonna go explore the world and we're gonna take our so supposedly this thing is Polish. It's I'm not sure about the whole story behind it and stuff, but the czar czar something is Polish. I keep reading it in comment sections. So there was like one of my in my comment section, uh, there was a guy that was mentioning this. Supposed to mean it's not like a like an actual phoenix, unless it is like unless it comes from like a family of it or something. But and so I was needing to craft the explorer's compass to find any structures I was wanting. <laughs> so basically, what this thing can do, you look up any structure that exists in this mud pack, and you can find it here. Any of it. Like look at this list. <laughs> Holy crap. For now, we're just gonna explore the world. See what's more like out here. It's starting to get dark. There's the creepy redwood forest. There's our kingdom. 
Let's see what it looks like from up here. Wow. Yeah, there's the jungle temple. Honestly, I think uh, there might be an eye in here. Oh god. What does this one do then? Oh, that would have shot some stuff up at us. Freaking zombie spawner. Look at that. Ancient treasure. Villager fossil skull. Okay. We got him. There's a pillager outpost here. What? I have digging claws? I'm going to take that. You guys have a waystone here? Be on my way. Oh. Oh, what the frick? Old champion's remains. Right here. It's this. I've seen them before because I used to fight this boss quite a quite often. I'm pretty sure he's in here. Champion's grave. Search. Oh, it's really mucky outside, dude. All right. So it's, it's not, it's only a couple layers down from somewhere. Dig somewhere. Oh yeah. Deep slate brick. That looks more like it. Oh yeah. There's an entrance in there. Yeah. We found it. There he is. Oh, he looks angry. You know what? I could probably just shoot him from here. This guy freaking sucks. Wow. Watch this meteor freaking thing get him out. And watch this, you're dead. Oh god, okay, I forgot he's got the second. <laughs> what the frick is happening? Ah! I cannot see! There we go. Oh my god. Did it die? Did it die? It kept spawning back. I'm so heckin' confused. Oh, we can easily traverse through the skill tree. Oh, so what? Can we just click anywhere now? Percent all spell damage. All spell. 3% critical. With notification. Critical damage. We're on day 53. Yeah, I think that was the actual loot. Oh, wait. We got the essence of eventide. Oh, dude. We can fight uh, the other knight. The other versions of the returning knight. That's pretty good. Yeah, we can fight that now. Where is oh, I see him. Hello, buddy. You just hanging out? Oh, my God. Look at that view he's going for. Holy shit. Hang on. Yeah, what's up, bro? Oh, no. That was my golden apple. <laughs> no. Took my gold. Oh my god, that is a whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is a big village. Uh, you can save yourself, but look at this an ancient tome. Wait, this is part of the one of the yeah, this is one of the quests that I think uh, Kevy Debbie. Yep, this is one of them. So, whatever I have the patience for it, we will go and read it. What is that building? Hello, anyone home? Whoa, was it actual wizard's tower? Uncraftable potion, glistering melons. Whoa. An ender chest, box of lapis. I will take that because uh, I'm running low on lapis at home for enchants. This is pretty sick. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go back up. Full in. Totally fine. There we go. Never mind. All right, we're going down, I guess. Wait, why is it full of lava? Everything seems to be burning down here. All right, where's my P2? Come on, buddy. Okay, you stay right here. Stay around. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, okay? Oh, hello. Go, go. There we go. I'm so confused. Oh, what is that? I remember I built this in like a couple of uh, servers I played on, but... There you go. Better way to do it. Whoa, look at that forest. Oh, look at that. Hey, look, some toads. It's like they were meant to, we, I was meant to be here. What the heck? This is so cool. Is this, oh wait, there's a pirate ship. What is that? This is a cool building. There's someone right on the other side of, oh, it's a village. What? What is happening in here? Lunar crystal, iron dagger, fire claymore. You went to go say hi to the, the Drakes. What's up, guys? There's this one time that we went to Toronto. And, like, I was told that, like, every time you go to Toronto and, like, Drake is in town, they, like, idolize this guy. Let's see what's in here. 
Man, this is a big ass boat right here too. Who's on this boat? Unicorn. Oh God! No! No! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Kill me, not him! Kill me, not him! Kill me, not him! Kill me, not him! Get rid of this. Wait, that guy is flying. He's on a bat. Okay. That was a one tap on that guy. Grab that. How about a firestorm? <laughs> Bucket of milk. Finally. Bring some milk. Still didn't get rid of it. For an iron here. Oh, there's the captain. All right. Well, if you're the captain, you might die. Come right here, right here, right here. Yes, perfect. I know this place has usually got some cool stuff in it. Go like this. I'm put you right here. I gotta do some research how to get this infinite wither effect that has zero seconds and zero seconds on it after drinking milk. Oh yeah, okay, so it was it was a glitch. Um, a little ruin or something like that. There's another one. Holy shit. That's, oh, dude, there's a whole forest here. Wonderful wheat. Oh, I'm guessing I'm lagging because of that thing. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm lagging because of that building. It has a lot of mobs in it. What is this? Antidote Vessel greatly reduces the duration of negative effects on the belt trinket slot. Okay. Oh, Karmot template. Perfect. That's what I need. We can raid you guys. Or is this just another village? Oh, no. It's a pillager. I'm pretty sure that's why it's... Oh, god damn. Okay. Uh, where's my bread at? I'm going to grab the bread. All right. Let's get back at these mofos. We can get in this pillager camp. Level level 11 pillager. Oh, a Hexblade manager's here. No! I don't want to fight. Why is it now? He's really greedy. Oh, yeah. They're right on me again. Here we go. Round number six. We're going to fly up here. Now they're in a big-ass fight. <laughs> yeah. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Pow. There we go. One's dead. Hello, Vindicator. I wonder if I take your gold, though. There we go. Ravager's dead. What? Dude! How do we keep finding this stuff, like, every single recording that I do? I swear to you guys. We always find these kinds of weapons in, like, villages and pillager, er pillager areas. We always find this stuff. Like, one of the legendary weapons, bro. Like, these things are supposed to be really rare to find. And every time I find them, they're in villages like this. Whoa, this is a big village. You're telling me we're in a tree right now? In a village? That's cool. All right, where'd homie go? This guy always leaves. All right, so now we're hitting the open oceans. With these really cool island looking thingies. There's a shipwreck. Whoa. That is neat. What I'm thinking now is I might circle like this. <laughs> Alright, I think we're hitting land now over here. We're hitting the corner of this biome, which is pretty nice. So that means we gotta head a bit east. So oh, that is cool looking. That is so neat. Imagine seeing that like in a SMP or something. Dude, modded Minecraft is just a whole new level of minecraft dude wow okay this place could have one but i'm not entirely sure all right no waystone here yeah so now we're gonna render all of this in and maybe some of this stuff um oh my god these holy crap how many are these so many of them there's looks like there's something massive in the middle there i'm gonna go take a look at it. i think there's a waystone here mine i'm gonna take this one and we're on day 57. I took the waystone, right? I have it? No, eh? Oh, it doesn't exist anymore? No, I guess not. Okay, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. Hi, island. We're above the clouds right now, dude. Holy shit. There's our mage tower. <laughs> it looks chonky. All right, let's land, bro. Ah, oh, feels good to finally be home. Woohoo! All right, so what we got to do now is we got to go back to mining. Where do I put that? here whoa dude we don't have much dirt at all all right i guess we're gonna go dig for some dirt we need some so i went over to the alpha looking beta version looking of minecraft island what i did there was collect a bunch of dirt and then had to go through my entire quest line to you know redeem all my rewards collect more dirt and then head all the way back home yes, please 
Perfect. Okay. But I think I might need to expand this one because it's a bit uneven. So I'm going to expand on this side. Perfect. Okay. Let's go make a iron hoe. Need two diamonds, not just one, two. Okay. Give me some good. Ah, it's whatever. Ooh. Just like that. Perfect. And at some point in time, I can probably expand the farm a little bit further. Actually, you know what? We could probably fight the wither. Get one of the eyes. I just realized that would be sick. Or we craft a boat and we go out in the ocean going northwest. There's a lot of water over here, like a huge body of water, which I think would probably be a really cool idea to do. I think I want to kill on that like big, not the big, but the other big island right over here. That way I don't destroy anything. The wither doesn't break anything over on for us. So <laughs> with the wither, drop us the wither eye. Put him underneath like a tree or something like right here. There we go. Get ready to throw a meteor on him as soon as he spawns in. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, he's already almost dead. But you see how much damn- Oh my god, did they buff it or something? What the hell? There we go. Just like that. I think that was about five shots. We got two Wither Eyes? So two Wither Eyes, a Lord Soul. We have another Droger. And the Shard of Uncertainty seems to perfectly fit in a certain pedestal. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what pedestal it's talking about. We also got a coin purse. Got a couple of these guys. Do you guys know what coins do in here? Because I have no idea. Yes, it was. You know what? Uh, how many soul stars do we have? We should probably go fight the Night Lich. He can drop us a bunch of enchanted books that we probably need. In the glass ocean to summon Magus if available. We have to use in a glass ocean to summon Magus. Which we could probably do though the hexblade place to ward off the hexblade invasions in a 64 block radius to carry to prevent yourself from being hexed right click the air to create a hexblade portal you can right click on this with a sword on a glass glass ocean do we want to do that instead that sounds awesome that sounds like some like i don't know magic stuff okay you know what we're gonna go to that other village we're gonna start taking all its books we're gonna make another gonna make another bookshelf thingy bajiggy. So we're gonna take all these. I don't have a silk touch, so it's gonna suck to take all of this. Lich Tower, here it is. We wanna find this. And which is it's found. It's not? It's three thousand blocks of this way. What? Oh, because of the cold biome. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I've come to take these. So what I'm thinking is I might make two. I might make one for the enchantment table and the spell binding table. It's this one, right? Yeah, okay. Forty five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Look at that. Ow. Owie. Okay, we need more wood. We have another skill tree point. Or did we already put it in? Oh my god, we have one left. This is it after. All spell damage, 3%. Done. I think that's it. We're done the skill tree. And we have a ascendancy tree. Wait, what? <laughs> what the frick, dude? Oh my god, so we can go more into this thing. That. <laughs> what the heck? Got five bookshelves here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I think we should have enough though. But the rest, oh, god damn, it's really hard to tell. Only two more. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna go chop down some trees then. Yeah, my tower is pretty chonky. There we go. We got seven. We go bang and bang. Perfect and schlong. Now These guys. So here's the enchantment table. And then here is the spellbinding table. Here we go. I got these ones. And then I can put it with some soul lanterns. That, 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 that. Give a little bit of a spooky vibe. <laughs> I also think we should invest in carpets. Carpets would look pretty neat here too. I will need to put the grindstone upstairs. The grindstone here. Then our anvil right here. A nice pillar like in the middle or something like that would look really trippy. Oh, what if we did it out of that? Oh, idea! What if we did it out of that wood? The rainbow wood. That looks sick. Hang on, hang on. A lot of it just went right into the water. Dude, it falls quick. Holy snap. 
Because now we'll be able to make our wizard's tower into RGB gamer tower. Guys, I don't think the wood changes. It has to be alive in order for it to change color. Because look, I don't know if you see it here. Oh, is it the taller it gets? I'm so confused. All right, there we go. Is there a bird in here, man? There we go. Yeah. See, that's more like it. And now what you do... See, so you go one, two, three... Oh. Here. Here. Like there. And like the smithing table. So instead of having it against the wall, you put the smithing table there. Right here. Trying to get some more moonstone to kill the other knight or whatever from the returning knight one. And then we also want to kill the knight lich. I also think that I should probably do something about this. I need like a trophy wall or something like that, which would probably look a little bit better. It's got to be like these topish layers like that. And then now what you can do is you grab stuff like the skull, stuff like this looter. Item frame here, item frame here. Put like this thing in there. We got that darkened blade so you see that nice little uh put together thing right uh in terms of like smelting um we need the wall to look a little bit better than this right um i can also make it make into a little staircase like that well that is a block right there we can put like one furnace there one furnace there like another furnace it's like a triangle you can put another slab like that you know makes it look funky there you go Okay, so what if I put one here? Thank you very much. And then we also have to go to the end and kill the Tower of Obsidolith. And we also have to find the Nether Gauntlet, which we probably, you know what? We can actually go back and kill this guy. Void Blossom, search. It is, oh my God, yeah, it's not far. I think it's where this is. I, I wanna save like finding all those, oh God, we already passed it. It's in the water. Oh, that's not good. I have any blocks, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, God. All right, there we go. All right, let's go see. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the boss bar already. A lot of creepy sounds going on. Oh, yeah, we found it. Oh, my God. Look at that guy. Oh, hack him. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. That is trippy. That is so trippy. Okay, you got to destroy these beamy thingies. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. There we go. There we go. And a meteor strike. <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. All right, so we got a void, thir void thorn crafting material. And we also got cores for grants brief regen and resistance, which is pretty nice. I think we can go back to the nether and fight the nether gauntlet, honestly. But here we go. Void blossom's done. We get a void bow. When you pluck the string of a void bow, an, an unsettling silence reverberates across the battlefield. Boy shot. Chance to deal multiplicative damage based on the base level of the enchantment. That gives us a skill point and traveler's boots. MK1. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Now we have a goddess statue. In which you can use a goddess statue, chat. I mean, guys. I mean, tavern. I mean, art lords. Boom. I'm going to go to this dude. <laughs> ah, man. Now we increase the, the amount of HP that we have. We don't need a stamina vessel. I just want more HP. Oh, my God. How much HP do we have now? What's our stats at? Arcane spell? All I know is I got a lot of health. I got a row of health plus another one. So you do, you guys do the math. I don't know what I'm at. So, and I don't know if there's a max that he's put it at, unless I've already gotten to the max amount of HP I can get. Hey, right there. I'm observing you. I'm staring at your face. Boom. You, you're a weird looking monkey. Here's some food. Here's some food for you. What kind of food did you give me? I don't know what you gave me. You gave me 12 bananas. Where do I want to go mining? Because I kind of don't want to go back into those normal caves that I had. But like we traveled out to Lorimpi, which is this desert-ish area. Quite a lot of uh, of amigos here. Oh, I need a netherite pickaxe for that. What the frick is that thing? Whoa, why is it glitching out? Oh yeah, there's way too many mobs in here, dude. Wait, what is that guy? Oh my god, dude, I love the meteor. All right, so we got some more Karmot, which we're gonna pick up. Whoa, diamonds, which we'll grab real quick. What is this structure here? Oh, that's why there's a bunch of mobs. Spirit orbs, don't mind if I do. 
Uh, invin- Wait, what? Invincibility cape? A worn equipment. Wait, what? Are you serious? Oh my god, there's no way. Um, some diamond ore right here. Karma. The moonstone is possible. Oh god, there's the portal. Okay, hang on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my- Holy shit. Oh my god. What the hell just happened? I don't understand. I was at full HP and then I just started getting like bombarded with freaking attacks and I almost died. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a mimic. All right. Vampire glove. Cause of the wearer's melee attacks to absorb health. Wait, what? Oh, there's another mimic. Hello. Pocket piston increases the knockback. Dude, if only you can wear multiple of these things. Like a gigantic freaking village underground. Fiber. Oh, we need this to make Karma, dude. Moonlight shard again. Has a chance to strike attackers with lightning. Grants protection against lightning strikes equipable. Oh, shock pen. All right, that's sick. Oh, <gasps> it's right there. Please tell me there's more than one. No, there's got to be more. Yes, yes, we have two. So now, paint a sharp of uncertainty, which I think we have. All right, now we can go back home. Got some more diamonds. Come after me, bro. Come after me. Let's go. <laughs> Easy. Wait, there's no way I just found... Oh, that's more verglass. Sick. Oh, not that one. Slurmpy. Oh, not that one either. Yeah, that's that one. Moon. Alt, old moon altar again. And a whole stack of that to get two stacks of fire runes with 18. All right, now we got the Lord Soul. But we have to kill the returning knight again, which is annoying. Oh, dude. That's gonna be annoying because I really want to get this quest. Look, we get a full ingot, power glove, get some really good stuff. I guess I have to go get some more moonstone. I have no choice at this point. Efficiency four, I'm breaking. And oh my god, I got pickaxe. Uh, I think it's Loren Bay, right? <gasps> oh my god, there's no way I lived that. Feather falling came in clutch, but look how much durability it took. Holy shit. What the flip, dude? Burglass again. Burglass again. I want moonstone. Whoa, what is that? That's so cool. <laughs> I love this. There's more of this stuff. Oh, or Jalcom. Armod again. Put some of this down. How much did I get? Four. Let's go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, some of it burnt. Okay, how much did I have? 12. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It was like instant mine with my efficiency and like my, my claws, bro. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna swim up. I just gotta watch for that sand that comes down. Here it is. Oh, frig off. I'm going home. Yes, it is. I have something to deal with you. Come here. Okay. Okay, it doesn't work. It does not work. Now I have. They're gonna kill my villagers. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of mobs around here. All right, there's gotta be like some like skeleton just hanging around. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till nighttime. It's uh, Lauren Bay. Got some fully grown carrots. All right, it's nighttime, so let's go hunting for some skeletons. All right, here we go. So now we're on day 68. Okay, that should be ready by now. Yep, two of these guys. One, two, one, and two. Two of those. All right, so we're gonna do two battles. Returning night again. And then Essence of Eventide should get us the other boss. I forget his name. What is his, what is his name? Uh, we're gonna kill the fallen icon. Hey buddy, you're going in the wrong direction, I think. We gotta go down here. I think we'll do it the same spot. All right, here we go. Here's one. Just keep spamming, keep spamming. Meteor. There we go. He's dead. Perfect. And we're gonna kill this guy. You put this down. And then it's the essence of eventide. There we go. Holy shit. This guy. My game crashed. My. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Don't tell me I have to restart all that, dude. 
Okay, so after multiple restarts, it seems like the fallen icon is the boss that's actually causing the crashes. So as soon as he does the slam dunk onto the floors, he uh, crashes the whole game, like instantly. So he cannot do the fallen icon, unfortunately. This thing right here. All right, so we need two ender pearls like that. Repair that. That's 16 levels, man. Dude, we are at so many friggin' levels. Oh, okay. Wait, what is that? Refunds all points invested into your base skill tree, allowing you to re-specialize. Oh, okay. I like that. All right. For now, let's go fight the nether gauntlet. And yes, it was finally time for us to return back to the nether and to kick the nether gauntlet's ass. There he is. He's here. All right, he's still alive and he's at max HP. I'm guessing you regen. I need you guys need to see where I'm going here. There it is. Hello, I'm back. Started digging. Oh. Oh, there he is. Hello. How's it going, man? Here, what if I just did one of these guys? I'm much stronger now, man. There we go. Easy. Oh, God. Why did I have to go all the way up there, bro? All right, runic tablet, and we got a blazing eye. Nice. Uh, what is this? Kim can be used to craft and reroll runic weapons. Oh, okay, good. All right. Now that I got that, so bosses of mass destruction, I have him done. That is. Yep. All right, we gotta go find another decaying king. Dude, getting an elytra with this thing would be amazing. I will never have to use rockets ever, dude. Let's go. We're home. Let's go. What am I talking about? It's nighttime. All right. Right here. Emit some light. I kind of want like the sharpness, but honestly, the spellbound tree and leech aspect. Gain some health. Okay. We already have. See? See what I'm saying? So, if we do this with this one, do we get the mythic? Yeah, we do. Well, at least we got a stronger spire spell blade. That's pretty nice. How the hell do you make a cog ship? Birch, oak. Oh, here we go. So you need boats, you need two leads and a sail. You can make a lead with slime balls or a bunch of rope. Rope, you need a bunch of straw. And straw, you need a bunch of, eh, it looks like wild rice. And then there was like a bunch of slime balls that we were like tossing out over there, wasn't there? But, but um, ooh. maybe it's not this place. It's uh, this one. It's this guy. Yeah, this one. Oh, that's the guy. Okay. We kill whatever that thing is. You take purple jelly shroom cap and you cook it. Where the hell do you get purple jelly shroom? No, oh, it's right there. Found it. Iron nugget. Oh, there was one right there. This one. Yep. Like this and like this. Get. Oh, that's four leads. Oh, it's even better. We only need one. Uh, two leads, the sail, and four boats, in which I know we have the sail right in here. And now we need boats. Two, three. Bam. And then we can place it. Oh, what? That is sick. Oh, yeah, we have to, like, drop the sail and stuff. Okay, that's really cool. And I believe we were going to take my brig, this thing, all the way out that way. Because we wanted to explore more of the ocean here. We're going to go out on a little adventure. And then also, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go find all the rest of the eyes. Uh, we have the cursed eye. We should have the nether eye. Yeah, we do. Right there. So we have two eyes so far. And that's it. Oh, wait. No, we have the wither. It's a pretty good start. Not going to lie. Okay. Let's figure out how to sail this thing. I don't know if I like... I don't know how to make it drive. How do I make it drive? All right. Toggle sail. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Let's just dock it real quick. Come on, dock it. Let's voyage the sea. Let's turn the brig around. All right, full speed ahead, dude. Full speed ahead. All right, we can go raid that ship. That thing is massive. So I can use my cane to get up there. So I'll put the sail down like that and then go. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay. I didn't know there was these guys on here. There's a bunch of pillagers with... Oh, my God, with hoglins. All right, I, I got it. I got it. They killed their own piglins. All right, got to run around and get rid of all the spawners first, right? Another one over here. So many freaking spirit orbs. Don't mind if I do. I'll take all of these guys. I have a thing at home I can spend. 
shit on now, too. Dude, this pirate ship is massive. Uh, I can only sleep at night or drink thunderstorms. You don't think I know that? Dude, I got 30 orbs from that, man. 30. I'm gonna take that soul star from you, though. Infinite. Oh my god, more diamonds. That guy has a bird on his head. See that? A lot of gunpowder. Oh, that's locked. Don't mind. It's probably this is where you keep all your good treasures. Oh, there's a basement. Oh, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna grab this. All right, day 72. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, what the hell happened? What happened to the ship? What happened? What the hell? Why do I have nausea? Hello, Mr. Boat. So I'll put that, that. We got 35 diamonds from that and 36 spirit orbs. You never would have thought you would have seen a fire mage on a boat. Well, now you have. Lots of coal. A lot of fish in here. Maybe we should spend like the last like two Minecraft days fishing as like a peaceful adventure. I think that'd be pretty fun. Oh, there's another one. I'm going to blow you up with my meteor strike. Oh, yeah. oh no, there's like a mutant skeleton on there or something. What the hell is going on there? Are they under attack? We gotta save them. Boom. Brog the bulwark. More like Brog's, Brog sucks. Boom. You guys are saved now. There's another big ship over there. This one looks like a little bit different compared to the other ones. Oh my god. How many agents? Yeah, I don't want to get... I don't want to... You see, I don't want to get mining fatigue and stuff right now, man. I, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I have a question for you all. Do you guys all believe in the Megalodon? Like, honestly. I, I, I know he's like a bit of a myth. Or maybe someone did see or he's scientifically proven. I'm not sure. I haven't done much research on the guy. But I'd like to believe that the Megalodon at some point was a real thing. But you have to... Like, you have to think about it, you know? For, for a big logical second. The, the, the ocean is massive. And to, to know that we've only discovered like 12 to 16% of the ocean, there's got, there's bound to be something massive in the waters, like something humongous, right? There's got to be something huge in there. So like the stories of like the Loch Ness monster could have just been like, I don't know, a giant, uh, loon or something like that sticking his head out of the water. And someone's like, oh my God, look at that Loch Ness monster. Like, uh, I forget what it's called. Don't correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like a, a, um, a new squid that was found, like, I think it was a year and a half ago or something like that. Like, Magna Pina or something like that. It's a new squid that was, like, freaking 42 feet long. Head looks like an alien. It's insane. They found it, like, really deep in the ocean. It was, like, a recent discovery. And, uh, the tentacles are, like, very, very, very long but thin. So, like, nothing compared to, like, the, the giant squid with a humongous eyeball. But, like, it's got some creepy features to it, man. It looks alien-like, but it, it is out there. And, like, the face... Yeah, and, 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 and Magna Pina fish... Or squid, sorry. Are very, very, very rare. So, like, on every single dive that people kind of do, they, uh, it's very unusual to kind of, like, bot one out. All right, I think I might go to bed on this little boat that's over here. Yeah, let's go take a look. Oh, look, there's life here. There's land, land ho. Holy shit, that's actual beach. Grassy beach, let's go. We had some land. There we go. What's that electricity sound? Little hopsy doodles. Oh my god. Oh, it is a lighthouse. That's cute. I'm gonna just go land on my brig then. Be on my way. All right, drop the sail. Oh, no way. You guys have a freaking... Oh, you guys have an aquarium. Oh, there's a goddess statue here. Okay. Don't mind if I do, man. Yep. Uh. Okay. I don't know how many I did there, but... uh. Wow. I got a lot of hearts now. Hey. You know what I think about that? Ha! Maybe I should make that as a challenge or something like that. Like, if, if there's a, like, only live my life on a boat and just set the sails for 100 days, loot things, and just keep traveling the world, never set up camp or anything like that, that would be sick. Zacky, dude, what? Like, holy shit, look at that. Look at the size of that monstrosity. Probably there's an eye in there or something. There's gotta be, a, like, some sort of eye. Kill the Elder Guardian in there. Whoa, there's, like, another... Big one here. That's a sky island, I'm betting. Yep. But it's got a giant windmill on it. What the heck? That is strange. Yeah, that's a pillager one. You can see the pillager faces on the flags. That looks like the black pearl. Let's get up. Oh, small yacht. No, never mind. I hear pillagers. Pillagers lit their own freaking boat on fire, dude. 
What a dumb, dumb poopy head. All right, well, if I was a villager, what would I do? The hidden treasure. Put it in the carpet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this carpet. I need it for the house. You left the villager in here. They trapped him. I'm freeing you, man. Don't worry. It's just more oat. Like, look how much ocean there is, dude. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. How about a little story time? Story time with is Kevin. So, once upon a time, I uh, restarted my YouTube channel and made a whole new channel, which is this one. And I decided to start making different types of videos instead of Minecraft. So this was during the time of the uh, the Great Depression of Minecraft content. So, um, you know, from the years of 2010 all the way up until 2015, 2015 and on, you, you know, Minecraft on YouTube and people playing Minecraft was in a massive depression. You know, 16 year old me started up a YouTube channel, uh, my like third channel, which is this one now from 2015 and started to make videos of Dungeon Defenders 1 because I've been playing that game since 2011 and then also Dungeon Defenders 2 came out as a free to play title and uh, I started playing that and I started making videos and stuff like that and then started streaming and uh, I got really well known in the Dungeon Defenders community met like a lot of the developers the artists and got to know pretty get pretty well known in the trendy entertainment development team and then trendy entertainment sold to chromatic games in which they made a remake of the first game called dungeon defenders awaken and that's where things really started to kick off for me you know i did a, a little collab with uh, mr juice bags which is like a youtuber was one of the biggest um dungeon defenders youtubers back in the day and he still is now and i still watch the guy i have merch of his <laughs> anyways i became like an official cast, uh, casters guild member which is like the official dungeon defenders stream team which is pretty neat essentially just kept playing dungeon defenders for years on end and would uh you know mix minecraft a bit into my channel because i love minecraft a lot and did like big open servers and stuff like that and then i moved over to twitch and started streaming and then that's when things started to take off with my connections with uh dungeon defenders started realizing that you know like yes i was having fun streaming dungeon defenders and uh, making videos the thing was is that there wasn't much growth to it i had the community i had what i wanted i was wanting more <laughs> i was like I want more. I would have the highest peaks of 30 viewers in my Dungeon Defender streams, but I was craving more. You want to grow, you want to do something, because, I don't know, for a lot of you guys that have known me for years, you know, I, I'm very dedicated to the to the things that I like doing, and uh, YouTube and making content is something that I purely enjoy. It's been like a, a thing of mine since I was a kid. So I've had my ups and downs with making YouTube videos and streaming and stuff like that. I'm going to dip into the Minecraft scene. So what I started doing is I started streaming whoa this place is creepy and huge there's a place over here though and a place here i think i'm gonna go over here we're gonna go take a look at this thing um an entire season for one of my servers that i had and met uh, tons of people and made so many new connections and unfortunately those connections died down because like you know some creators grow and forget about you i mean that's just the whole process of like making uh, youtube videos and stuff like that yeah maybe i maybe one day i'll be able to tell like an entire story about like my whole youtube journey this is actually quite an interesting one uh if you guys would want to know a little bit about my past Actually, what if I just told you guys in this video? So the people that have made it this far on day 75, you guys get to know a little bit about, about, about my past. There is a story. An ultimate story. It's quite the story. I used to be uh, very into Minecraft factions as a kid. I know, I, I know a lot of big creators. These creators that are huge now may not remember me uh, <laughs> because of how old we were when we were younger, but all these big creators that uh, that you guys may know of, like people like Bionic MC, uh, I'm not I'm not a I'm not ashamed to to say this, but look, I, I used to raid bases with Bionic MC um, on Cosmic PvP, um, and also there is uh, you know uh, I used to I used to make videos with uh, I think it's its editor now. Mutant Medicus, or as he goes by Mute, I uh, used to have a video on his channel of us playing on a uh, friend of his. I think it was Bionic Server. That's how I met him. It was a guy named Grant UK, uh, and then there was uh, Rage Train. <laughs> uh, Rage Train was a big factions nerd too. I used to watch a lot of that guy, 
and I met up with him on Cosmic PvP as well. And then I also used to have a like a pretty big faction in Archon, uh, especially on Archon Crimson. And I used to raid bases and uh, would ultimately destroy a guy named Camping Rusher back in the day when Minecraft faction videos were huge. <laughs> We'd just destroy his base and he would say, Oh, who, man, whoever keeps raiding my base is getting annoying. And they'd always think it's Ben Mascot, and that was that became his arch nemesis and became his best friend and later down the road. But sometimes it wasn't raided by his arch nemesis. It was actually raided by my crew. <laughs> it was awesome. It, it would be so cool to kind of like meet up with these guys again. Uh, to talk with, uh, especially Rage Train and Bionic, because I was very close with them. I never really talked with Camping Rusher because of like, um, you know, he, he was a pretty big YouTuber. But Bionic MC, uh, I knew the guy when he had like 5,000 subs and I saw him grew to like 8,000. The thing is, is that I respect Bionic MC a lot because the guy still made videos like every two days or every single day. And then during the Minecraft depression, he was kicking ass. Like he just pulled through. He did the like the impossible and that's why he's where he is today because he just pulled through and just kicked ass at what he did. And I truly respect it. Same thing with Rage Train. Rage Train was posting like big daily videos and stuff like that. But there's also another guy uh, named Creeper's Edge, which I believe he goes by uh, not Ryan or not Brian or something now. He used to go by Creeper's Edge back in the day. Um, I used to uh, play on a server um, on, on the same server he did. And I never really interacted with the guy, but I just kind of knew him in the community. He kind of like chatted around inside the server once in a while. And then there was also like um, people I would used to watch. There was a guy named Huawei. Solar Flare, Heaven Plays, D Field Mark, uh, my God, Creeper Farts, any anyone from like the Cube, basically. Uh, that that was like the thing that I was watching a lot of the time. So I, I know a lot of you guys were growing up watching Sky Does Minecraft or something like that or stuff. But I grew up watching these guys. Um, you know, I, I I watched a lot of the Yox cast, yes, but uh, once like Beijing Canadian came out with survival games, and then like. These faction guys came out, like Camping Rusher and D-Field, especially D-Field Mark. D-Field Mark was like my go-to YouTuber when I was younger. He, his videos were insane. These wars that he would have, man. And his intros were just so iconic. All right, I need a waystone. Give me a waystone. Come on, Fletcher. My little suggestion and my little take from all of this is that, yes, over the years, I've lost my connections, and that's because of the Minecraft depression. I'm sure if I would have continued making Minecraft videos to this day, uh, I probably would have made it already or had some great, crazy, crazy connections with some of these people. Oh my god, another guy I just remembered. His name was Isaac. Uh, Private Fearless. Private Fearless was a homie, actually. I had him on Skype a long time ago. Yeah, he may not remember me, but I remember you. Private Fearless. God, yeah, I remember that guy. The Irish guy. Ooh. Yeah, that's, geez, this is bringing back so many freaking memories. A lot of this information may be useless to you guys, but man, I have, I got a lot of, wait, what? Ironhide, Ironhide, the Ironhide amulet is both ancient and timeless. Sand mysteriously and endlessly slips through the cracks of an iron what the hell that is pretty pretty trippy do you guys not have a waystone here and i did have like a small youtube channel i used to post little videos here and there um i was you know i was getting there i made a lot of faction videos a lot of survival game videos that was basically it i was like a spammer of those videos Obli no way they have the main theme of oblivion in this this is awesome what the heck that is the coolest shit. I'm gonna play that once I get home. Dude, that's one of my favorite games. Oblivion. I forgot to add that. Skyrim and Oblivion are like one of my top games I love to play too. You can only sleep at night. All right. Well, I think this is a jungle temple that might have an eye in here, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna take it. Oh God, it's a puzzle. Yeah, I ain't bothering with a puzzle. You could have been watching a YouTuber as a young kid, or you may remember someone down the road, but it would be so cool to reunite with uh, some, of, some of my old friends uh, and chat with them, because talk about some nostalgia stuff, some memories, maybe kick back into making some projects because, yeah, you see, I'm a bit of a late boomer with, um, with YouTube. Um, I've been pretty like hard headed with it, you know, like, oh, I I'm just going to do YouTube kind of my way thinking that I am just doing everything right. And why is nothing working for myself instead of studying and taking the time to actually improve in my videos and stuff. That was a big mistake that I did with YouTube for all my life. <laughs> I learned the hard lesson. Yeah. There's a structure here, but I've seen one of these before. So we're going to go down this way now. Okay. 
You know, like, uh, with YouTube nowadays, YouTube has changed a lot since, uh, I was a kid. Whoa. This thing looks cool. I'm gonna go in here. Whoa. We're chilling in here. Oh! I'll take those. Oh, bottle of enchantings. I'll take that. Suspicious stews. I will also take some more spirit orbs. Uh, what is that? Fire prot. You know, honestly, like, if I can add fire prot to, like, my armor and, like, take less damage from... Oh, look, another wither skull. That was a pretty cool raid. Not bad. But, yeah, in terms of, like, YouTube, um, what I've learned throughout my years is just to be adaptive. Um, be more yourself. Try something, you know? Uh, learn to take criticism uh don't um you know don't be too harsh on yourself take criticism seriously makes changes because obviously the thing that you're doing and you're still doing it to this day and it's not getting you anywhere you need to spice it up and change it up basically i've been doing the exact same thing in terms of minecraft content for years for years and i was like you know what man to try something different i tried something different it didn't work out. I wasn't getting the numbers I was expecting, but look, it, it got me somewhere because it it, it had good-ish numbers, you know. I was like, all right, all right. It was it was fun to do, but I was expecting bigger. So I tried it again. Didn't get much anywhere. Tried it one more time. Didn't get nowhere. Yeah, I I, I got a message, and from that place, like from there, I got a mess. Like from there, I was wanting to just stop that genre that I was in, the niche I was in for. Minecraft videos. Then I got a message from Kyber. Kyber's like, hey man, you want to try Fantasy Minecraft? Make 100 days on it. I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? One more time. My last straw of making Minecraft videos, because I've been trying my butt off. I'm going to put everything into this video. Like, I mean everything. Well, this is cool. Cross necklace, become invincible, uh, leather armor. There's also a battle staff of terror, whatever that is. I'll pick that up. That sounds cool. I gave it my all. I edited it like crazy and um, made sure I told a good story. I went all out with my thumbnail. I made sure that my thumbnail was like immaculate. I can't remember the amount of times I changed the thumbnail in that video. Ah! Oh, it's a boss up here. Ah! Oh man, he had like a truck a bit. How do I... What can you do with this? Zeus staff? What? The staff of Zeus. Look at that. My dog is named Zeus. Not my dog. Like, you know, the family's dog. Family dog, yeah. The family dog. Soul healer. The soul healer amulet is cold to touch and trembles with the power of souls. It is a common among the illagers and woodland mansions. Oh, okay. And there is a corrupted eye just in here. I, uh, I decided to say, screw it. I'm going to try for a different niche. And, uh, yeah, that was going to be, like, my last video. And, um, after that, uh, after all that work I put in, I, I uploaded it. And I was super happy at what happened all my work paid off so then i knew i was like all right i gotta keep going with this you know i gotta gotta keep working at it and i'm very grateful that um you know uh i kept going because you know it's like that thing that you know like the the, the guy mining you know and he's right at like just before he hits the diamonds and then like the set the second segment is like him walking away you know, because you just, you were just there. You gave up because, like, you were doing it for so long, and so you gave up. It's kind of like that moment for me. It, it, it honestly felt like it. Not to sound, like, all corny or anything like that, but, yeah, it literally, basically, essentially what happened. I'm, I'm very grateful. But now, like, I've always had a struggle with uh, making connections with people. No one really wanted to talk to me, despite the people that were in my community. Um, like, my, my, my viewers... And stuff like that, my like my chat, and live viewers, and my staff team. I found it really hard to partake in at events and make collabs and meet new people. So basically, I was doing everything alone, you know, just in terms of content. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna sleep it off real quick. Hopefully, I can sleep before he starts attacking me. But yeah, I used to do everything on my own. Um, you know, just make my own events instead of trying to join events and. You know, uh, try to get my name out there. I played in a lot of civilization events. I uh, tried to partake in YouTuber, small YouTuber mini game events. Lesson I learned is, you know, don't rely on other people to uh, get to where you want to be. Make it there yourself. Make the effort and just get there.
And man, I, I was de I, like, I will admit, guys, I was desperate. I was like, I was, I was literally willing to try anything, literally anything to uh, to get where I wanted to be. You can't blame me, right? Like, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. Like, I, this channel has been open since 2015, and I was posting videos like crazy and streaming every day like crazy. And that doesn't include the channels that I had when back in 2011. In the past year and a half, uh, I was grinding. I'd say about two years now. I've been grinding, but past eight months I've, I've just been glorious and honestly i just want to thank you all so much for for tuning in and, and watching my videos i i i don't want to be like that soul heartless like the the, the, the the guy that's just saying you know like being too much and stuff but genuinely i am a very lucky person to have such amazing community behind my back and that that support that support me and what i love doing because you know these videos take do take a long time to to do a turnaround and get these things out but yeah now you guys get to know a little bit about me so there there, there you go story is done that I took about i think it was like, like two minecraft days <laughs> two minecraft days i want some of these trees dude is that just normal birch though mauve hills you know what mauve is hey eh, guys i'll teach you a little bit of french mauve is purple then i can oh wow whoa dude the wood log is actually purple Oh, crap. Do I have bad omen? I need to find a cow. If I bring this bad omen to my uh, village, I'm going to start a raid, and I don't want to do that. My villagers are too precious. <laughs> I need to find a moo moo. Where's the moo moos at? Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. That might be a good place to visit. Or that place. That place might have a waystone, too. Into it. Like, is it worth exploring that dimension? Like, I have no clue if it is. Oh, I started a raid. All right, well, I guess I'm going to fight off a raid. And there's a waystone here. That is perfect. This is exactly what I was needing. I forgot this is a village. I help you, boys. Bring it on. I might as well do it here then in my own. You guys are just a random village. Just where are they so I can slap them in the face? Ow. There we are. Hello, guys. Hoppa! Hoppa! I think the guards are just handling it right now. We're on day 78. All right, let's explore this island we'll go out this way a little bit and see what's going on yeah i don't know where all these mobs are so i'm not even gonna bother in the ground oh my god i just jumped that that's cool if you think about it like this is actually really cool looking you see like whenever you find like larger plateaus like this like you get more structures and this is what i'm trying to look for Oh, dude, we should definitely climb that volcano. I think that is a volcano. Volcanic peaks. Yeah, it is. It's a freaking volcano. Get rid of the text. Yeah, dude, look at that. Boom. Take a screenshot of that. That is sick. Do we want to climb to the top of that just for the sake of climbing to the top of it? You betcha. Wow. This thing is huge. Dude, we climbed to the top of it, dude. It looks like there's another peak over there. It reminds me of like Skyrim Mountains. Straight up look at that, dude. That's insane. That is so cool looking. Looks like a little tower. Is there someone? I see someone moving in there. Do you guys see that? Or am I going crazy? No, never mind. I wasn't seeing anyone. Okay. Oh my god. I'm getting the chills just doing this, man. This is it's actually kind of cool. That is insane. Sorry. I, I'm taking screenshots, man. This is cool. <sighs> oh. Wakey, wakey. Day 79. As much as, like, these places are really cool to explore, like, uh, like, like, I don't know, towers and stuff, sometimes these biome stuff like this is insane. Oh, that's a castle. Dude, see, this is why you need to do this. Like, look at this, bro. Make it right on that tree right there. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I hear pillagers. All right. All right. Hello. How's it going, big guy? We're going to raid this entire thing. Ah! Oh, shit. So I guess it's the further you go out, the more that there is. All right, is there a lava pit somewhere? Yeah, there's one over here. We're going to get warmed up. We're also going to head back home, come back here, and loot this place. There you go. Let's go. Whew. Thank God. Which one was home? It was this one, right? Or Larempe? No, it was this. Yep, I was right. All right. Wait, no! No raid! I said bad home. God damn it. I don't feel like doing the raid. Oh! At least they're all right here. All right, bring it on. At least there's some... Where else are they going to spawn now? Did they spawn on top of my house? Yeah, they did. 
Hello. Thank God. There's a Ravager right there on them. Here we go. I can't see a thing. God damn, that kid was strong, dude. Oh, Illusioner. Oh God, give me a break. Are they back up on my... Oh my God. Oh God, okay, it's a little... Okay. <laughs> Has completed the magicians. Wait, what? I completed. Challenge completed. The magicians. Wait, what does that do? Come here, big boy. Wah! Wah! Another totem. What kind of totem is that? There's like another totem here. What is this one? Totem of freezing. That's cool. Oh. Did he fall? Oh, I got a hero of the village. Heart container. I get a free heart container. Let's go. Heart container. So what do I do? Just right click. I get a free heart. Nice. Another totem. Oh, man. Okay. That was fun, dude. That was like honestly super satisfying. Like that. Like this. Whoops. Not like that. Bolivian main team, dude. I love this. There we go. We got four cabinets, so put one there, put one there, there and there. Then we just need something else there. So we got a little bit of storage, you know? Okay, let's put a barrel. And now we have a sheep plushie. Where's the sheep plushie gonna go? On top of this barrel. Actually, no, he's a relic. He's going on the shelf. <laughs> put the fish bowl. Yeah, and then we have a fishy goes in there. There he is, look at him, a little fishy. Right, and then we have, right, so you put the kelp, Fire Coral and Bubble Coral. There you go. What's your name? I don't know what your name is. Some more HPs? Please. Yes. Oh, I think... I don't know how many... I don't know what the max is. I think we're close to the max. I think we can only do it two more times. That's my guess. I want to figure out how to do this other stuff. The Ascendant Tree. How the hell... Oh, wait. I have points in here. Critical and then 0.8. If I learned anything from better Minecraft is that there's an endless possibility about what you can do with farming and what you can do with food on its own. Because it's actually insane. Literally insane what you can do. Farmer's Delight mod is just super epic and broken. This place, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. All new to me. Block. That is blocks of coal. I'm going to take all these blocks of coal to start smelting all that mineral back at home. There's another jukebox. I will take that, actually. Okay. Oh, I activated something or something like that. Last furnaces. I will take these. Another cake room. Pillager. Another block of coal room. Don't mind if I do. Whoa. Evoker. All right. That is pretty sweet. Another music disc. Wow. You are cool looking. Whoa. What is that? That is, that is, whoa, what is that? Jesus, maybe you use a runic tablet on that thing and it, oh shit, okay, let's try this. It doesn't want to work. There's an enchantment room, there's an ender chest, that's pretty sweet. I think this is where the king's hall is, right? Yeah, okay. Don't shoot me. Yeah, he shot his friend. <laughs> what is all this cool stuff? Yeah, definitely loot these places. Good starter loot. I mean, it's a high level pillager. You might get tapped a couple times, but I mean, like, look. Another runic tablet. It's just boys. <laughs> oh, no. Man, I really need to get a hex blade or something, dude. Cool. This is sick. We're not even done yet. Ah, crap. Run. 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 I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Did he spawn anything? Potion brewing room, I think. Uh, I, wait, those are divine chest plates? What the heck? How do I, how did I get those? Like you go down this corridor. Yeah, that's the other staircase. I think we made it to the top. Nice little watchtower. Slowly hop down. You guys have a waystone for me here too? 
I'm getting a lot of frame lag from this place. Oh, I think it's the same one uh, as the one in the nether. Oh, that's creepy. Like, I'm not kidding how much lag there is in this place. Oh, it's one of these things. No, I need an actual jungle temple. Being really updraft home, an ancient book filled with illegible glyphs. Whoa, I definitely want that. All right. Uh, I could probably put like put it here for now. And then we get an iron golem. Uh, man, we, it feels like we got to decorate the upstairs now, man. Because, dude, now you're doing a one emerald trade? What if I wore the villager hat? Oh, my God. I forgot all my hair molds inside the house. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so we can see. So grab stuff. Holy shit. I didn't mean to buy that many. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not mean to buy that much. And we're going to have it, like, right here. So we're going to do, like, then... Ooh, look at that, dude. This is what we started with to make sure that we were doing everything good. First, we need a cold eye. And in order to find a cold eye, we need an igloo. We need um, dimension pass group sources in Minecraft. So a non just regular Minecraft igloo. 5,000 blocks out this way. So that's our igloo there. Hopefully it's got a cold eye in there. Usually there's a little boss Something at the bottom. Is it this one? No. There's got to be another one that's nearby. Crazy. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Holy freaking creepers, though. What a goddamn creepers. Here, a Brian statue. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right. Climb up this one. Okay. Whoa, creeper. Oh, is there parkour? Ah. Uh -huh. There's some vines to climb after. Look at that. Oh, God. All right. Uh, will it blow up? Oh, it won't. Efficiency five? I will put that on my, my freaking pickaxe. Whoa, 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 what is all this? You have slow jump and all that stuff infinitely. Okay, so uh, I will admit something, guys. I did have to cheat, okay? I will, I will say that. The only cheating I did for this was to teleport back from where I was right over here. For some weird reason, joining back into my world caused everything to break. I wasn't loading in any of my world generation. I wasn't able to break any blocks. But I do have to return back over here. So what I'm going to do, I lost uh, my phoenix, guys. So I will take my... I will, I'll just walk and swim. Take a boat, go across here, and then go into these little areas and try to loot up and get my... Go back to this right here because that's where the hero brine was, I think. The hero brine was like somewhere around here. My phoenix is there. We gotta go return. We gotta go get him back. But if I can't find a cold eye in that area, I don't know what it is, but that place is a lag fest. All the way back that way. That is insane. I can't believe we're actually doing this. We gotta go by boat again. Two thousand years later. Very tall. Holy shit. How tall does that go? All right. Well, let's try to make our ways up. Aquarium ore? So, we gotta go about to the left a bit here. Wow! What is that? Like, that is insane, bro. Reminds me of Skyrim. Alright. Oh, angry locals! I think I killed the five witches I was needing for a quest, right? Oh, God. Or not. Oh, no, he's right over there. Okay. There he is! Let's go! We got him back! Alright, let's make things a lot easier. Let's travel. I think he was the one lagging the game. Because of how many blocks and how fast I was loading. Yeehaw! No, I think it's him that crashes my game. Yup! It's him! No, it's the Hero Brian. It's gotta be Hero Brian. Alright, maybe that place? Maybe these things have cold eyes, cold building. Maybe these have it too. These things typically only seem to spawn in the cold biomes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance. There's no way we're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. So we lost our Zarpatar, but we can always try to get another guy. I guess it would have to be this one. Let's teleport. I think it's this one. 
I'm losing a bit of hope because usually doing this eye adventure takes a long time, a lot of time to actually do because sometimes it's out of reach. It's like 10,000 blocks away. It's hard to get there. Oh, it's this thing. Actually, it might have it. I might be able to fight that witch boss. Let's just do it. Definitely. <laughs> oh, she's like a fire. Hey, what if I just cast another meteor on you? All right, there you go. You're gonna be dead now. Okay. Witch pupil, that's what we need for one of the eyes. Oh my God, I can make one right now. All right. Ocelot plushie, let's go, let's go. It's like a hole or something. Yo! Wow. Okay, not too bad. Okay, uh, maybe we go loot this one, then the gigantic one. Pretty sure I went in here, no? Yeah, that's it. Okay, we can get out. Yeah, right there, this thing. Let's try that. I think we already went tried to go inside of it, right? Didn't we? I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we did loot this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Okay! Secret room. Dude, every time I see bananas, I'm always thinking I got something really good because of freaking Fortnite. Days 88. All right, hopefully there's something in here. There's a chest in this corner. Diamonds. Uh, okay. All right, well, there's nothing there. Like I said, it's gotta be vanilla ones. Very, uh, very specific, these guys. But there's that. There's a bunch of pyramids over here. There's that one, that one. There's the gigantic one with all the puzzles, which we can try. But the last time I tried looting up that gigantic one that's over here, uh, I had a problem. And so I decided to go through my quest line and get all oh, my yeah. rewards. 101 levels! My god, what are we gonna do with all this XP? <laughs> there's this one. Wait, that looks like a vanilla one. Wait. Wait a minute, this... Whoa. Yeah, this looks like a vanilla one. Ah, uh, no. It's edited. Yeah. No. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there's that gigantic temple. We can go and try to raid it, but there's no promises about what we're actually going to find in there. I think we looted... Did we loot this one? Ooh. <laughs> so how does this whole thing work? I just found some blocks of gold. Woohoo. Yeah, I think I looted this one. Yeah, it was that one I looted. Okay. I'm down just to see if there's an old eye in here. If there's no old eye, I will go home, make a monarch or chaos, and we'll go fight other bosses. Definitely see. There's the mining fatigue. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where's the lantern? Oh, man. I remember this. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a tricky one. I don't get it. Wait, what? How do you... Ah, what the frick? I like doing this one. This one's pretty fun. You go like this. All right. Ow! Did I get it wrong? I think I got it wrong. Made a mistake. Ugh. Okay. Try it again. So it's this. And back. Then it's three over. Then it's barely. And it's right here. And then it's... Oh, God. Okay, then it's one, two over, All right, like this, and then you go down, I did something, I did something, I know I did, yes I did, the candle is lit. All right, the candle is lit. Uh, let's... more fire spell damage. Sure. What is this? Four, one, th one, three, two, three, three. 
What? I don't get it. I don't know if I can do that. I don't, I don't, I don't get the, I don't get the puzzles. There's also the undead eye, which, yeah, gas tear, rotten flesh, undead soul, bones, and phantom membrane. How the hell do you get an undead soul? Without those other structures, I can get the guardian one. That's definitely for sure. I know I can get that. All right. Well, we might as well start making ways back to the kingdom. Oh, wait, there's a waste zone right there. No freaking way. No way. I'm going to take this. Nice. That is awesome. Using a glass ocean to summon Ma Magus. We also have to do this thing too. Where's the, where's a glass ocean? I don't know. Uh, where is our other compass then? The nature one. Yeah, there it is. Uh, look up, what is it? Glass ocean? I am spell bait. Glass ocean. Not found. Okay, cool. Nice. Thanks. Uh, yeah, and we also have two books. What are these books? 270. Okay. Oh, wait, these are coordinates. That's pretty sweet. We'll have to go to these coordinates after. Uh, do we have more spirit orbs? That we do. And I'm going to go get some more HP. Oh, we can't go anymore. Okay. We're at max HP, guys. Put that up. Shua! Look at that. That's freaking sweet, dude. They make a black stone pedestal. Oh, yeah, I need black, polished black stone bricks and pearls, moonstones. Okay, where's our stone at? Do we have some black? We have cobbled black stone here. All right, well, I guess I gotta go to the nether and get some black stone bricks. All right. So I'll just go to a bastion. Oh. Polished black stone bricks. Let's need this. This boss is not gonna crash our game. <laughs> So then you need a blackstone pedestal right here. And then you need a shard of uncertainty, which I believe we should have right there. Yep. Fly. We're going to fight it over there. I've never fought the Monarch of Chaos before. So this is a new fight to me. Okay. So we put that this. Whoa, that is trippy. And it's going to die very soon. Oh, shit. It keeps farting. Something else keeps farting. God damn. Everything's on fire. Did it die? I, I already killed it. I killed it. I already killed it. We got a Cape of Chaos. Cape of Chaos gives us four armor, two max health, one melee damage. Chaos bonus, 30% uh, armor, arcane spell power. I mean, that's probably a little bit better than our invisibility cape because, like, look. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, you have to wear it. Oh, okay. So it's a chest piece with another Lord Soul. Then we have a Withered Wabajack. And then we also have a Crown of Chaos, which is not that great, but look at this thing. Woohoo! What the hell? It's like a ran a bunch of random different spells and crap. Um, so we killed him. Then we also have a scuff nog scuff nung stone. What the hell does that do? Wait, no, what's the stone is uh using this will remove harmful effects while empowering in hand. Okay. Use that while you're in battle, basically, is what you're trying to say. <laughs> the, the iron golem was like, what about me, guys? I am definitely ready for another cool-ass battle like we just did. Yeah, okay, so now we have... Oh, we need to make some more item frames now, I just realized. Do we want to go try this? We have one day before day 90. We're on days 90. We might as well try it out. We did the Monarch of Chaos. Let's hopefully cross our fingers that the game does not crash. Old moon, old moon the old altar i'm gonna call it that and then essence of eventide okay all right three actually i'm gonna pre cap portis i don't know if i should try to like a strength pot so let's grab it now I was so close! Oh my god, it was so close! Oh no, I was so close! It crashed, but I was so close! 
Oh, what the heck? That was awesome. I was planning it so well. We got to try again. We have to try again. More power. Let's focus on more power to get the fallen icon. Let's do it. Let's do that. That's our plan of action. Oh, shit. He's right here. I got it, I got it. He's healing. Hell. Yes! I did it. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he was still there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it. Wait, did we get it as a quest? I don't think it counted. It didn't. Dude, that sucks. It didn't count. Oh my god. It didn't count, bro. What the heck? That power glove, dude. That would have been insane with that netherite ingot to repair my armor. Dude, I spammed two by two abilities so much. I think I used up so many runes. I don't know how many runes I use, honestly, using that. Oh, I forgot I have G. I could have like shot him with my G ability as well. There we go. All the colors of light and darkness pass through this orb. Throw it into the sky to summon the deities of night and day. Do we save that for days 99 though? Like this thing is insane. Like honestly, like days 99 fight the, fight both bosses. I don't know if you need to do it like twice or something like that, but. All right, I have an even better idea. So for the next 10 days for the finale, here's what I'm thinking, folks. And you may think I am absolutely insane to do this. But since we're not able to really go into the end because we'd have to travel like 20 or 30,000 blocks for just one freaking eye, which is insane. <laughs> here's what I'm thinking. We fight both the Day Stalker and the Night Prowler. What do you guys think about that? I also have to fight... I have an Arkin Stone already, so I need to fight another crown of... I have to fight another mob, this guy. Oh, there they are. Okay, so I need two of those. I have two Moonstone already. I have to go get some more polished black stone, which is not a... Wait, hang on. Hmm. So how do you obtain the Shard of Uncertainty again? Do you have to get it by slaying the old champion? I think it's the old champion. Yeah. Let's go try the old champion, because that could work. Champion's Grave. Bodumambu. Is it Ludu, Ludu Vezu? I guess I can do that and that. Oh my god, the raid is still going on over here? What? What the frick? Mending! Oh, wow! Okay, what the frick? He just drops a random mending book? All right. Land ho, and I'm going to bed to make it to the next day. We're back on the river again, out into the middle of the ocean. They nerfed Waystone Towers, I swear to you. They did. A villager... No, villager area. All unemployed villagers. All of you. All unemployed. Get a job. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. What is this place? What is this? Oh yeah, it's one of these things. Okay. Ah, it's in this giant plateau. Alright, so I gotta pay attention to his drops. Oh, you get the essence of eventide from him. Why do I still hear the monster? Or is that it? Well, we can summon another fallen icon, that's for sure. Just, I still hear a mob or something out here. Get over there. 3,000 blocks, dude. Alright, let's just go for a walk, I guess. Hey. Is that a woodland mansion? What the hell is this? this is, what the flip is that? Is this a woodland mansion? Oh my god, it is. That is a woodland mansion. Wait, are we in that area? Okay, no. Thank god. Alright. Can I take a boat from here? Give me a bunch of time to go buy a boat, man. Bring the boat just in case. You wouldn't happen to have a waypoint, would you, here? 
This is a this is like two villages in one. No way. We made it. Woohoo! God damn. Oh my god, we did it. Jesus. Now we need wither skulls. Summon the wither and kill the wither again. Which I believe we should have some. If not, we'll go to the uh, nether, go kill some. Oh, we only got one. But we got this. We can do it. Uh, yeah, we could also try to find some netherite too. All right, let's farm. Give me them wither skeletons. Let's do that. Let's do this instead. Where they would spawn. I believe it was the tower. There was a spawner. Wait, no, we destroyed the spawners, didn't we? No, we destroyed it. Ah, shucks. Oh, that's not good. Unless we, unless we find another one. Crap. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta make this quick, dude. Oh, no way. That's uh, it's a fortress right there. Next to a bastion, too. Ah! Like, literally any of these structures can have wither skulls. That's the thing. Wither skeleton! No? Nothing? Yeah, look at this. Crazy, right? Ah. His bones. There's another guy right there. No loot. Is that chest? Oh, I got achievement for grabbing it. Okay, that's cool. Oh, where the skeleton skull? Let's go. We got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Okay, hang on. Let me eat real quick. The only way to do this is to freaking kill this guy. Once he's dead, he spawns in his friends. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Holy crap. Okay. Done with that. Oh, we got a- oh, We can fight the Night Lich too! Okay, good. That's the last soul star. What about you? What about you? Oh, you might drop one. Hey, okay, what? Oh, a diamond pickaxe. I don't want that though. Gotta run through this. There's a bastion. Alright, where's the top? Oh, there's no way. Oh, dude. Oh, there might be a wither skeleton skull in here. What does this go down into again? Oh, it's the Blaze King. Wait, do we want to try this now? I mean, my armor is probably damn me all right. I tried out. is dead whoa oh what is, what is that hang on a minute what is that blaze king helmet what the frick that is sick and all honestly like these towers might oh look ancient debris hot tourist destination that thing oh it's just like the the jungle one but in the nether that's what that is I remember seeing these. There's a skull there. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Oh, wait. These things might have it too. It's gonna give me a wither skull. Come on. It needs to. Yes. And more netherite. There's two towers. There's two towers. <laughs> Get this one here. Like that. This. This stuff is just absolutely insane. Oh, that's a hex blade master. Oh, no. Where's all his... Oh, God. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wither skeletons. Let's freaking go, dude. All right. That is nice. What else do we have? Spell blades? Oh, glacial. Yeah, okay, there we go. Well, we got what we needed. That's for sure. But now we got to travel 1,500 blocks. Ain't that bad. Day 97. Yep, there we go. Yeah, these, the, the repairs on these armor pieces are going to take quite a bit, man. Holy jump. Yeah, dude, look at that. 18 levels on repair. 33, dude. Holy jump. We definitely needed to repair. Got lucky. We'll fight the wither. Get the uh the thingy majiggy. Oh yeah, I should have enough runes to kill it. Then I I have to I have to kill the wither. I have to kill the fallen icon again, so I have to make another freaking moonstone old altar. Moonstone old moon altar. One, two, and three. Alright, we're gonna go over here. How about that. Yes! <laughs> yes! 
Icon and evil. Wait, what? What the hell is that? We got it. We got the shard of uncertainty. Okay, let's go make um kill the 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 the, the chaos guy. Okay, we like that. Bang. This to get a lost soul. We need that. We need another lost soul. That. Bam. All right, now your prices are kind of pricey today, dude. So 0 0.8 in fire spell damage. Done. Okay, hang on. Go like this. Okay, here we go. So you do this. Meteor. We're going to stay right by him. Another Meteor. Do this again. He's going to stomp any second. No, 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 no. I got it. 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 He's going to go into his second form. No, it crashed. Damn it. Damn it. No. Yes. Okay, that's one. Okay. He's reviving. He's reviving. Okay, now the fight. Okay. And Meteor. He's dead. Okay. Or not. Okay. We got it. There it is. Essence of Loom. Oh my god. Essence of Luminance. Or Lumin Luminance and Sense or something like that. Anyways, okay. Next boss. Okay, here we go. Now there's this boss. This one I'm sure we can just spam kill real quick. There we go. Did it just fart on me? There we go. Guys, I have some good news, and I have some bad news. <laughs> we didn't... He didn't get the monarch crown. Oh no. I think we'll only be able to fight one, just one of them. This is a sad moment. We can upgrade our gear and fight one of the last remaining bosses, but at least it was worth the grind and it was worth the adventure that we did. I just have to come to conclusions that obviously can't do it. <laughs> There's got to be a way to get spell power five. So what if we did another netherite fire staff? Yeah, we need to go get a uh, some leather moon cows. This, make another one of those guys. Fire damage, perfect. Template, and then we get a netherite fire staff. Spell haste, I like that. Spell haste two, increase the casting speed of your spells. I like this. It's a decent enchant. I might as well. I don't have spell haste. Yeah, spell haste. Now we can summon things a lot faster. Oh yeah, it is the boots. All right. Skywalker is in now on that. This. Oh yes. I was going to say, are you the one? We need item frames. That's why. Finally make some. Item frames. Look at that. So we're going to add that. And then there's a withered Abajack like that. There we go. Blaze King helmet. And then the Cape of Chaos right there. We'll have the plushies kind of like right here. There we go. There we go. One there. One there. Cool. <laughs> it's not even. I mean, I could have just put it like right there. It's time. To fight the day stalker before the night time comes. I don't know how long this battle is going to be. But we are going to get started. Gold. Make all the golden apples I can make here. Hang on. Bang. 54 golden apples. I think that's enough. What do you guys think? I'm going to summon it on this village. And hope for the best. In terms of PvP. I have no idea how this is going to go. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa, there's both of them. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I did not know that. I didn't know there was two of them. Oh, so I did have to do both. Holy shit. All right, going to do a meaty shower. Oh, my God. Okay. Going to kill the night prowler first, I guess. 
Just gonna quickly swim. Oh my god, dude. Holy smokes! Run, 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 run! Alright, that's one. That's one. Oh god, there's still the dick stalker. <laughs> oh! Okay. Let's summon the meteor. That does quite a bit of damage to this guy. Oh yeah! Meteor again? Oh, that was an instant kill, dude. Holy smokes. Oh, damn, dude. I gotta... Oh, dude, I'm all the way back the boat. I gotta swim all the way back. Don't want to die right now. Is he by my... Oh, dude, he's right by my grave. Watch, 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 watch. Got it. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, dude, look at that thing. So the other guy that I killed, it didn't drop anything though, did it? It must have gotten burnt. It must have gotten burnt in the fire after it died. Oh, that's so unlucky, but we got Dawnbringer. Look at this thing. It's like a giant key. Oh my god, this thing is awesome. Alright, we're gonna sleep it off for the night. Okay. Well, it's time to hang up my hat. I forgot I have a totem of regeneration. I'm surprised the totem didn't pop. I was holding it in my... Oh, that's right. I'm sure if I was like this, because this I'm not holding it technically. Or am I? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Okay, boys. It's time to hang up my hat. It was a fun, awesome time being a fire mage in this 100 days journey. If you guys did enjoy this journey, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Much love, take care, take it easy, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!